Chrono Cross, let's go. So, I believe... Question mark. I believe. And if you know how to get the concert, I'm going to need to consult tonight. We can't miss it. We can't miss Miki. Those are goals. Goals that I set out to do at the beginning of the playthrough. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe I need to go to Hermit's Hideaway right now. When you're younger, your first thought of the character portraits and menu was they look all sweaty. Whole planet is a humidity hell. <laughs> uh, you mean these ones? Maybe? Enigmatic Jester. How they made her clothes like see-through like that is impressive. I don't know how they did it. Serge Korcha and Kid. Ah, uh, okay. When we get them back, we'll take a look. Because I'm interested. Hey, Ryu, thanks for the host. I gotta say, though, the Dark Horse surprise of the playthrough has been her. She's been really good. She's been really good. She has cool hair, too. She's like... Rockstar hair. That's rockstar hair right there. <laughs> Come on, Mog. Come on. <laughs> Big stretch. You gonna go on the bed? It's fine. Just don't go on the mixer. No mixer. You can go on the bed. Don't go on the mixer. Are you gonna come back? Okay. All right. You want room to lay down? <sighs> Cat distractions abound today. You can lay down. That's fine. Just don't lay on the keyboard or the mixer. Okay? There. Let's make room for Mug. Do you want to lay there? I don't know what he wants to do. Ban Rag would be a hard carry. I mean, she hasn't been a carry. She's just been surprisingly good. Like, Harl has been the carry. Or you, you bum or whatever. She's been the carry. But this character, I was like, okay, I'm just going to throw heal spells on her and whatever. And she's actually been really, really useful beyond that. All right, Mog. You got me on alert because you're dangerously close to my mixer. Kitty. Yo, what's up, Cindy? How are you? Oh. Burned out hermit's hideout. You need to sleep more. Yeah, it's like five in the morning for you, isn't it? <laughs> Go to bed, city. <laughs> uh, oof. I can't sleep. Do, 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 do. The ground here is hot. Vegetation won't be able to grow. What the hell does that mean? Ice breath. The ground is cooled down. So that's what that was for. <laughs> Do I have a seed? Hold on. Ice breath apparently works here. Um. Huh. No, I don't have any seeds. Here, let's put a handle. Let's bury it. No, okay. It's 6 a.m. Oof. That's no good. I'm watching you, Mog. He looks like he's positioning himself to do something. Do, 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 do. Hoot! Yes. Hey, Grabs. Now, Mackie, he's not Sir. I mean, he's not Lynx. Do you mean to tell me that you're a really guy? Uh-huh. 
Uh, this is hard to take in so suddenly, but I do not sense Lynx is evil within you. Who's my favorite character in Chrono Cross? <sighs> oh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. Who's my favorite character? Well, the most fun to use in combat so far has been Bob the Fairy, also known as Rasley. The My favorite character, though, has probably been Kid, which I think someone named her Poob. <laughs> probably her? I think... I'd have to look at all my characters, though, because we we've gotten a lot so far. I am not used to being pursued. Okay. I heard what happened. I just couldn't believe it until I saw it with my own eyes. And thank you for saving Miss Riddle. I'm very grateful. Here. I can't push square in here. Oh, weird. Who's your favorite, Darkens? What about everyone that's watched me play this or played it themselves? Who's your favorite? Because we have a lot of characters now. Oh, man. Ah, those poor jokers pissed me off. At least we were able to save Lady Riddle. But still, one of these days, I'll kick every one of them out of the matter. You do that, buddy. Do, 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 do. There's Marcy. Your favorite character is Lena. Lena is like, I remember Lena being OP. Like, her attacks are ridiculous. Like, I think one of her attacks, like, restores her element uses. And I think another gives her, like, re-raise or something like that. Like, she's broke. <laughs> she's totally broken. Actually, Flair, yeah, I changed my answer. It wouldn't be Kid. It would be Harl. Harl would be my favorite. Glenn is awesome. I'm sorry I missed him. You're a jester girl. Where's Bob? Yes, I don't know where any of my teammates are. Cindy, I have no idea. <laughs> um, like, I'm sorry for everything. Ah, he's patting her on the head. You're too cute cool to be the kid of the doll, Marcy. What? Are you trying to pick a fight with me, you bum? I'm sure defeating this Marcy will be a cinch. you <laughs> Let's fight, no? That is enough. We have a patient here. I'm watching you, Mog. Oh, one, two, three, four. Four paws went over the mixer instead of on it. I'm so proud of him. Orla or Stina? Strife? I haven't gotten either one of them, but I've seen them both, and I've been intrigued. That cool. Okay. Nya, 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 nya. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. boop. <laughs> uh, you have an interesting way of cheering someone up. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're special. Thank you kindly for everything, Guy. I've heard much of what has happened. We cannot allow Lynx to carry on like this. I owe you a debt of gratitude, so I'd like to fight alongside you. I may be inexperienced in battle, but I hope you will find me helpful. So just for... Look at that. We already get to name a character. For reference, Riddle is... I think she has the highest magic stat in the game. The raffle has begun. If you want a chance to name Riddle. She's the very slender Meiji gal with the snack headband. She's got the snack on her head. Six characters maximum. Please have a name ready if you win or we will skip you. So good luck, everyone. Good luck. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, we got a lot of people entering. This is good. Let's see. You love to see it. You don't see that chat participation. All right, last call here. And 
going once going twice all right the winner to name riddle is going to be strife with the last second snipe <laughs> strife what's her name what's her name what's her name remember you have to have a name ready or we're gonna skip you Fulsa. Okay. Explain to us the meaning behind that one, if you could. Fulsa. <laughs> what did everyone else want to name her? Pazzle? You're going to name her Pazzle? Oh, my God. You're going to name her Blue? Oh, wow. Rummy? Oh, God, Slain. You're going to call her Salen from Luffy 2? She kind of looks like Salen, doesn't she? Fulsa Doom from Conan. Oh, Okay. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen that. Cleo or Asp or Rydia. Those are all pretty good names. You seem very tired. I do recommend that you rest. Would you like to rest? No. Uh, no. Let's talk. Let's actually... I can't open the menu. Okay. I'm going to rest. <clears throat> Resting, chat. I don't think we have a choice. That would explain it. What the? They have come. You look much better, Daddy. <laughs> Sorry to worry you. Oh, thanks to Marcy. Sorry to trouble you like this, Marcy. It's like I worried everyone as well. Jeez! Show your face, Lakes. Your nine lives are up. I recognize that voice. Indeed. Poob. Oh no. Poob's out there. Alright, Lynx, today's the day I finish you off. What are you doing, Monsieur Link? She is my enemy. <laughs> <laughs> she is an excellent magic user, right? She's the highest magic stat in the game, as far as I recall. She is not the poop, you know. Yes, she is indeed the poop. However, right now, you are the one who is Link's, and I am Guy. Once our roles were reversed, so were our problems. To her, killing you will avenge Luca. Right, poop? Yeah, I'll put an end to links today and avenge Luca. Oh, uh, okay. That means Luca's dead. Thanks, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. I think we had better retreat for now. Give it up. We have this shack completely surrounded. There's no way you could escape. OMGs. Well, see about that. It's the pirates. Guy, hop on. Nice. He looks better as an evil character. Uh, damn, they got away. Anyway, this is only the beginning of everything. Boop, 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 boop. I got the Zelbest music in my head. That thing's name is Polly? I love it. That's a Polly. <laughs> that up there, that's a freaking Polly. <laughs> that is a big Polly. Well then. Captain, the others are safely on board. Good, good. Does it work for crackers? Right. What is what does it take payment in? Small children? Like goddamn. <laughs> That is a big burb. He's remembering discussions with Poob. Mega Ritz. You'll kiss them because you kiss your sorry also so hard you'll kiss the boot. <laughs> Thank you. 
He's he's feeling guilty about what happened, despite it not being him. She sounds like an auntie from New Jersey. Thank you. That was what I was going for. <laughs> She's pretty cool, but I definitely like Harl better. I just wish Harl stuck around permanently. That part kind of stinks. Tell me, what is the most important thing in your life? Ask yourself what you can do and what you need to do in order to attain it. I don't know. If not you, then whom? If not now, then when? Right, guy? Right. Right! I don't know what accent that is. It's just a weird accent that changes all the time. That's what it is. I have control. Bow, bow. Shall we look at Thulsa? <clears throat> there she is, Lady of Viper Manor. Her magic stat is 28. She's powerful. <laughs> She's really, really strong with magic. So if you want a strong magic caster, you take this gal around. She's really good. She has 11 stamina recovery, too, which is pretty high for base. And let's let's at least see. I'm, I'm not going to use her. I think we're just going to stick with the mermaid for now. Um, Just because it's a different look. Let's see what her abilities are. Snake eyes. Use the power of white cobra to heal your party. So her first tech is an AoE heal. Her second is some kind of protection skill. For a single ally. She doesn't have her final power, which I think I vaguely recall being completely broken. What's up, Burr? How you doing, man? We're doing well. My uh, PSTV arrived today. She's the best mage for sure in White and Nate, so you get all the good text too. Yeah. Yeah, she's really good. Nice breeze, says Guy. Guy, dude. Second COVID shot is done. Man, I hope it's not too bad for you, but congrats. Congrats. I'm sure that's a bit liberating. How goes it? Just drop it by. The captain was looking for us. <clears throat> Lynx! Not... The captain already told us about you. But no matter how you look at it, you do look like Lynx. Well, excuse me. Viper, let us settle this old score once and for all. Prepare yourself. Is that you, Guy? Fargo and Duel will have to wait. I need to have a talk with Guy. <laughs> have it your way. Okay. Guy Lynx is headed to the Sea of Eden. We must do everything in our power to prevent him from obtaining the frozen flame. I shall lend a hand. We must put a stop to him. Okay. Dude. Chat. First half hour, we get two. Let's do another name raffle, everybody. Let's go. Let's name General Viper. Exclamation Emmy to join six characters maximum. Have a name ready if you get selected. Or we will skip you. Good luck, everyone. <coughs> hey, Papa Pondy, how you doing? Anyone else coming on in? It's good to see you, folks. Oh yeah, there. Let's get a little uh, views on that that tweeter. All right, last call here. Last call for the naming raffle. All right, here we go. The winner. The winner is going to be... Slain Asher. Congratulations. 
Tella? <laughs> Tella became a swordsman and he's tall and buff as fuck. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, uh, what the hell? Hey, guy, I'll help you out, too. You saved me life twice already, and I guess I already know too much. I can't just sit around and ignore the situation. Dude, we get to do it again! Three! The Pirate Fargo. You're gonna go eject? You wanted sneak? Who wants to name the Pirate Fargo? Pirate Captain Fargo. Telecast Medio. <laughs> All right, folks, round three. Here we go. Let's name another one. You're gonna name Viper Snack. I was I could have seen Snack. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I think it goes without saying, but if you won tonight, I would say abstain for now. But I don't think anyone that's won. You're gonna go for solid for Viper, solid snake. Like a spooper sneaky snake. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> You're gonna go with Snape, cause Salazar wouldn't fit. Oh, like Slytherin. All right, here we go. The winner to name Fargo. Darkins, Mr. 10K, all you, man. What do you got? What do you got? GG. GG. But I don't know, Jack. Like Jack Sparrow, right? I think I actually understood that one. Captain Jack Sparrow. Alright. Setzer? Setzer would have been cool. Robert the Dread Pirate. <laughs> yeah, I'll deal with you later. Once we put an end to this situation, you're mine. Very well. I will not run from you. I will be happy to accept your challenge. Wait! Okay. We're coming to you. I hope that's okay with you guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Marcy, like, joined your party? We're getting, like, everyone right now. All right. <laughs> Let's do another one. <laughs> this is sick. Chat's getting to name everybody right now. All right, Marcy, the, the bratty, powerful dragoon. <laughs> Characters joining left or right. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Good luck, everybody. Remember, have your name ready. Uh, six characters max. If you won tonight, please abstain. I think Karsh is coming with two, so we're going to name another one, even another one after her. Hey, what's up, Loki? You'd name her Dolly. She does kind of look like a doll, doesn't she? Loki, what's up? Link to the past? Casual? Speed run? Rando? What do you got? All right, who gets the name Marcy? I think it was Marcy, right? Papa Pondy. Pops. What you gonna name Marcy? Papa Pondy. She's snake? What does she have to do with snakes? <laughs> now I'm confused. Uh, all right, sure. <laughs> you just finished the game tonight? What'd you think? Was it your first play? Replay? <clears throat> Had to jump on the opportunity? All right, all right. First play, 8.5 out of 10. That's extremely high. Wow. That's an extremely high score. Very nice. Never won a naming before. Hey, first time for anything. <clears throat> All right. And it looks like this might be the last one. We're going to name Karsh. Exclamation point ME to enter six characters maximum. Please have a name ready or we will skip you. And if you've already won, please abstain. 
You enjoyed it? There's a lot of little things that got your modern gaming senses a bit. The game is 30 years old. <laughs> 3-0, Loki. Game came out, I'm pretty sure, in 1991. <clears throat> Alucard? Sorry, that's seven. Doesn't work. Feels bad. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yo, Crystal, how are you? Yeah, Link to the Past is awesome. Favorite retro streamer, you bring some friends over. Thank you, that's awesome. Thank you, that's very nice of you to say. All right, who gets the name? Karsh, the winner is Flare Cat. Flare Cat, congratulations. Grump. <laughs> All right, Grump. He does look pretty freaking grumpy, doesn't he? He does look pretty grumpy. Trevor from Castlevania? Oh man. Gimli? Oh boy. All right, we just had like a ton of people join. We had Riddle. Okay, Falsa, Tella, Grump, Snake. <laughs> Jack and that's it. That's a lot though. Oh, he's pretty tanky. He's all right. Her magic stat is ridiculous. 28. Let's see. He's good. What about Marcy? What the hell? Oh, she she hit these they all have like the same strength. She's more accurate and agile and better magic. He's more tanky. He's probably a bit more rounded. <laughs> Nobunaga? I've heard that name, but I don't know what it means. Because he's got an axe. I got you. All right. Our mermaid is 20 magic. Just for reference. Wait. Oh. We're being forced in this way. Just for reference. Riddle is 28. Without gear. That's how good Riddle is. Her magic stat is nuts. It's a crazy amount of people for a three-person party. Yeah, they love to give you options in this game. No, I want to leave. Okay, we're here. We live here now. This is our house. This is our house. If I did this... Who knows this game? Because I need the answer. We didn't skip the concert, right? <clears throat> you must unify Japan during a feudal era of Japan. Ah, I see. Um, I didn't skip the concert, did I? He almost unified Japan brutally. Oh, under under an iron fist, huh? <clears throat> a dead end. Do you know how to get through there? You wish to know? This place is called the Pearly Gates. This used to be the only entrance to the Sea of Eden. However, legend says no one has been able to see it or approach it ever since the dragon sealed the evil flame. Hmm. <clears throat> I haven't skipped it. Great. Then how are we supposed to get in? You need the powers of the dragons that sealed the flame. You must break the seal of the pearly gates with relics from each of the six dragons. Relics break the seal, you mean here? Yeah? Pearly gates. I know, right? No. The true gate to the sea of Eden is not here. It is in the other world where the dead sea lies. So where are we supposed to find the six dragons? We'll find them scattered around both worlds. They will be easy to find with all the legends about dragons throughout the islands. Or in Monsieur Lynx, the other Monsieur Lynx, disguised as Guy, is already in here. 
That is because his appearance is that of guy. What do you mean? Ah. <laughs> uh, for the concert, go to the Thunder Plains. Very funny, Cinny. The pretty singer voices. Yes. Yes, that's the voice we do for pretty singer voices. Even if you are able to get all six dragon relics, you will not be able to make it inside as Monsieur Lynx. Then what are we supposed to do? Like, is she supposed to have like a German accent, I think? I don't know, even know. Like in my head, I can't even tell you what a German accent sounds like until I hear people speak with it. So I just can't replicate it. <clears throat> the dragon tears, that is all I can tell you. Now it's my turn to ask one question. Monsieur Lynx, if you had to choose between the world or moi, which would you choose? Um, I would choose your bum. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> She's supposed to be French? Yeah. I don't really know how to do that accent. I'm trying my best, but it's really just weird. Oh, it's a cold out here. Have a calzone. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is a not an... Oh, man. I don't know. We haven't been able to save yet. We haven't been able to save yet. Huh. I feel like if I say her, she would be disappointed in me. And I really am really curious how this affects anything right now. Because <laughs> we haven't been able to save. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no, chat. Chat, I'm torn. I'm torn. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, bum the world. I don't know, man. They give and they give you three choices. They give you three choices. So, oh dear. <sighs> Just pretend it's an auto saving game and do what you think is right. Hmm. Maybe. Oy, oy, oy. Maybe a chat poll. <clears throat> Does this choice matter? Because I want to say this, just I just want to pick her because it's the wrong answer. <laughs> Like, it's the wrong answer. Like, I feel like she would be flattered, but disappointed. That's my life. Oh, God. God damn it. Okay. You ready, chat? I'm going to pick her. <laughs> I choose you. Oh, merci. Even if it is a lie. Ah. She's like, whoo. <laughs> Damn it. Was it a lie? I meant it. I uh, choose you, Pikachu. Oh, man. 
You go, sea dog. Go and find yourself. I wish you well. Okay. What's going on? I chose... I chose Pikachu. Yeah. Wait, why is she on this boat? Why must I have to tell him such things? You are such an idiot, dear bum. Uh-oh. Why is Pikmin talking to her? <laughs> What's wrong, you bum? There is fluid coming out of your eyes. Oh, it's you, Pikmin. It is nothing. Don't worry about it. You looked it up since you never played the game? Okay, now that we chose, what happens? You, you can discuss it. Something is different. Pikmin can tell. Your bum's makeup doesn't look the same today. Pikmin don't think it's nothing like you say. It's, it's like drawn out vowels. It's weird. It's weird. All results are the same. Ah, oh, feels bad. Why do you lie to me, you bum? <clears throat> Zako, okay, okay. I guess I cannot fool you. Listen, Pikmin, this is called a tear. It is something that flows from your eyes, not sure man. When you are sad, when you hurt. Tear to cry? So water comes out from eyes when you are sad? Are you sad so you can wash your face with tear? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, go to sleep, Pikmin. And don't tell anyone I was crying. You promise you will not tell. Pikmin like promises. Pikmin will promise not to tell anyone that your mom was crying. Wait a minute. Crying means that your mom is sad. But why? Even though we are close, I cannot tell you that. You will find out eventually, Pikmin, if that time comes. Okay. Every problem has a solution, I hope. Okay. She doesn't even mess up the makeup. Well, he said it looked different. Alright, now I'm upset. Did she not... Yo, excuse me. Where the fuck did she go? Oh, come on! <laughs> Where'd she go? No! Get him out of my party! Ah! Oh. Where's her gear? Where's her gear? I better have given me her shit back. It did, okay. I think. When did I get a defender? <clears throat> it did give me her stuff back. Now I'll just have to choose. She was the best character, Rick. Don't I, don't you bully me. I told you, no bully. All right. Well, that's disappointing because she was super well-rounded. She was good at attacks and magic. Now I don't know who to use. Um, wow, look at his agility is two. That means he's never dodging anything. I could use this guy just to be like a massive tank. Your bum was well-rounded. Her bum was well-rounded. Yeah. Seriously, her, she was awesome. Man, even her like tax were good. She had that freaking level seven tech that was just carrying battles. Like, oh, we lost that. I could go pure magic with Dulsa. Oh, man. Feels bad. Boom, 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 boom. Snake, as much as I can't stand her, actually has really good stats. Karsher Viper. You mean Tella? I don't want to use him. Like, he probably has good attacks, but... Eh. Eh. Grump. You'd go full magic. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough choice, honestly. Uh, let's see. How's Chuck? He's got decent stats. Stamina recovery is eleven. That's pretty good. Who would you choose, Reg? Do 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 do. 
Make it so sneaky. Really? Well, this is Tella. This hulk of a man who's six foot seven. <laughs> but only 216 pounds. Added a hundred to that. And that would that would be accurate to what we're looking at. If you added a hundred to that. That was Tella in his prime. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> his accuracy sucks. Oh yeah, AD is pretty bad. Stamina recovery is not good either. Thulsa. Decent accuracy, insanely high magic stat. Stamina recovery is good. Like, I mean, she would just be pure magic assistance and nothing else, but that's what I was using the mermaid for. So she feels a little redundant, a little bit. Take a look at Grump. That's a pretty cool looking axe. His accuracy is bad though, so is his stamina. So I think that rules him out. I'm leaning more towards a physical oriented character, but they gotta, oh wow, his stamina is even worse. Jeez. He's very tanky though. <clears throat> Eight stamina recovery. Snake, 11. I don't know, maybe we might use a nine-year-old. I don't know. <laughs> She's got really good stats. 32 strength. Her, her hit points suck, but her strength is good. Her accuracy is good. Her stamina recovery is good. Her agility is good. Well-rounded. We're looking at everyone though. So, all right, let's take a look at Frank. He's terrible. <laughs> Bad accuracy, low agility, slow stamina, and strength ain't even that great. Uh, kind of heavy for a nine-year-old. Yeah. It's a beastly nine-year-old. Yeah. Let's see. This guy's bad. He must, he must, he must need like really good text to be useful. I don't know. His stats are pretty lousy. Okay. Looks like a Mackie. Oh, we used him initially. He was not very impressive. He's like just average at everything. All right, let's look at Fargo. I mean, Jack. Uh, bad accuracy, okay stamina, low magic, high strength, high resistance, good hit points. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Let's look at Peakman. Decent accuracy. He's very well-rounded with high stamina recovery. Pequin's attract an attractive proposition. We might use him. I feel like whoever we're going to choose is going to be a stopgap, though, until we get Bob the fairy back and Miki or whatever. I don't know. We still have to really decide who we're, like, endgaming with, you know? Dawn of a way, too. Yeah, exactly. No, we're not using Grenda. She was not good. Punk? This was the painter kid, right? His, his, basically his claim to fame is he hits all enemies with his boomerang. It's like, okay, great. High accuracy, high strength, high hit points, high defense, decent stamina recovery. Peakman Snake or this guy? This guy's stats are pretty crazy. <laughs> it's going to be Peakman, Snake, Snake, or this guy. Chobin, I've heard those games can really get you in the feels, those uh, Trails games. Four hundred and one pounds. He'll kill things just by stepping on them. Yeah. Build bionic. Jensen looks the best number wise. He does. Yeah. He does. Now. We've we've got it down to three, right? So now we look at their elements. Their where their tax, right? 
Rocket fist. Single foe, shoot left arm to punch foe in the face. All right, single target damage. Air cutter, all foes. So this is an AoE dark attack. Okay. So the AoE dark attack is nice. Uh, Pikmin, let's check his out. You vote Pikmin because memes. He's white element. Star, Starlight, call in Starman Guardian to do special attack mark one. Starburst, call in Starman Guardian to do special attack mark two. All foes. So similar, but white element, not black. All right, and hers? Cat's Cradle, single foe, pierce the enemy with your strings. String phone, all foes, send cold signal down your secret string line. So they, all three of them basically are single target tech, AOE tech. Nothing really that stands out. Nothing really stands out. What is Axiomatic? Dragon Rider. Axial Axe. It's just an AOE green attack. Do, 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 do. Oh man. Good lord. All right, we're gonna use winning 10 votes to nine. We're gonna use Snake, okay? I don't know how long we're gonna use her. I'm not sure. But she looks like she's gonna be a hell of an asset to the team. We got double blue on the team now too, which is kind of cool. Ba -doom, ba -doom, boom. So they'll, you know, kind of tag team. They might be a tandem good combo. I know some characters have double techs in this, which is nuts. Not many, but there are double techs in this. That's just one thing I think a lot of people didn't like about this game versus, um, uh, what do you call it? Versus Chrono Trigger. There's a huge lack of double and triple techs in this game. Volcano trap. No. Well. 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 I want auto L. Okay, fill blanks. Fill blanks is actually really nice. We're gonna use that. Once we uh, do this. Uh, purify. We can set to tier one. Do, 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 do. Double heal all, why not? Uh, where's no strums? Jeez, okay. It might be worth it to be honest. Nimble numble, numble. Weekend. <laughs> You'd like fewer playable characters and more tech interactions. What do you folks think? What do you folks think? Tell me now! I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Meteor shower all the way here. <clears throat> Actually I wanna put Oh no, I had that's on someone else. Never mind. At this point, I'm just like, yeah, you know, whatever. You agree, Tristan? You think there's a few characters it could have done without? Understood. Wait, why are these here? No. Those, are, those need to be level one. Hold on. Let me reset that. Genius? No. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have black. We need to turn red. Here. Turn red's going to be good with two blue element characters, right? Do, 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 do. And 
a numble. What a great word that is, numble. Everything else is kind of just like, meh, <laughs> You know, I'm not terribly excited. This game was originally gonna have 64 characters. Wow, Lundea. That's wild. Diminish? No. 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 Wait. Why do you have red when you're... Oh, man. I'm not paying attention. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Electric bolt. Magnify and diminish are terrible. Like, they're just... They're not... They're not doing us any favors, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'm mostly going to be attacking with her, so what I'm putting here isn't terribly important. All right. Like, we want to get probably Poob back. Probably. That Dreamer Scarf is freaking sick, I tell you. Stamina ring, because we don't have any stamina belts. <clears throat> Star fragment protection from flu, burns, sprains, and poison. Wow, I did not know I had that. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, Dragoon's honor might be good for a dragoon. Trashy tiara. Elbow pad actually gives three defense. <laughs> yeah, let's give her a uh, Dragoon's Honor. I think that's good for a Dragoon. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go. You like Star Ocean 2 way of doing character. A few main characters and the rest are optional. I like that too, Darkens. But they also had significantly less characters. Was there like 12? Let's see. Yeah, Claude, Rena, Ashton, Celine, um, Opera, Dias, Noel, Precious, um, Bowman, um, Chisato. That's 10 so far. I'm missing one, a couple though, right? Ernest was 11. There's Ernest. Was there any more beyond that? Was there more than 11? Diaz? Did I say Diaz? If I didn't say Diaz, that'd be 12. That's a pretty good amount, honestly. Though, if you choose some characters, you can't get the others. So, like, if you chose Ashton, you couldn't get Opera. But the nice thing was both Ashton and Opera were OP as hell. <laughs> they were both so brokenly good. There are 12 total. Okay, so we got them all. The PSP remake of 2 also added Welch. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that. Yeah. Games aren't big enough to tell a dozen plus interesting stories and still be a game. I'm going to agree with that. Yeah, I think you're all pretty much right on the mark there. Um, yeah. So I have a theory. Now that we're supposed to be finding dragons and Fargo's on our team, I'm going to have Fargo talk to Fargo and see if this doesn't kickstart our concert. I'm still a little confused, though. Where are all my people? Where's Bob? Where's Bob the fairy? Where the fuck is Bob? <laughs> We need Bob back. <gasps> Diaz was Rena's story only, and Leon was Claude's story only. Yeah, that's right. Well, when I streamed it five years ago, it was one of the first games I ever streamed. Uh, I used Claude, Rena, Ashton, and Precious. That was a hell of a team, I gotta tell you. <laughs> that was one hell of a team. Whew. It worked out really well. 
highly recommend. Highly recommend. Man, that game's so good. I love that game. I mean, can you tell? I have an Ashton Perler up there and an Ashton Amiibo. So, yeah. Really hard to figure that one out. <clears throat> In the middle of the playthrough and using Claude, Rena, Bowman, and Ashton. Bowman is really good, especially his poison pill spam. That's a good team right there. Bowman's really good. Never really liked Chisato that much in that game, or Ernest. He didn't really work so well. Noel was okay. Diaz was actually not as good as Claude or Ashton, surprisingly. He's still good, but wasn't the same. You were Claude, Rena, Leon, and Ashton. Does Leon get better? Because I, I admittedly didn't use him too much. Okay, I have a question for all of you that know this game. All my old teammates, do I eventually just get them back through story means? Like, if I just progress the story, do I get all my teammates back? Or do I have to, like, individually find them again? I do just have to progress the story. Okay, then I, then I can stop worrying about it. Let's carry on. Thank you. Thank you for just saying yes and not giving me details, too. I really appreciate that. Celine actually is, I think, the strongest caster in Endgame of SO2 Zohar. She ca she stays good. She stays good. She has some really good buffs, too, from what I remember. Like, Angel Feather. She can spam Angel Feather on your team, and it just, like, turns him god tier. <sighs> All right. Let's see if Fargo talking to Fargo will kickstart this. Claude, Opera, Arena, Chisato is your usual team. How's, how did Chisato work out for you? Uh, where is he? There he is. This is just for cutscene means. We're not doing this for um, any like story progression. You plan on doing all three super bosses? I did that when I, I, I was a kid. So I fought um, that angel that I forgot the name of. Oh. God, <laughs> that thing was nuts. <laughs> you know how I won? I gave Ashton all the best gear and I spammed attack until she stun locked her until she was dead. But every once in a while, she'd break the stun lock and one shot everyone in the party. So it was just like RNG. Dark flare and solar flare, if they cast at the same time, cancel each other out. Interesting. All right, Fargo, go have a conversation with yourself. This is about to get weird. This is the Mog dancing music. <gasps> music stopped. Hey, Lodge Lubber. Are you me? Don't even associate yourself with me. You're being a sissy jack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up there, buddy. That's not an okay word anymore, all right? You're pathetic. I do have the possibility of becoming a jelly belly like yourself. That word is not okay anymore, folks. She always did well for you. You want to say tear gas is the most hits of any killer move. Nice. <clears throat> it's not an okay word anymore. No, it's used for a very derogatory connotation. Is he bad now? Yes. Yes, it is. It is. We will say that it is homophobic in a sense. Or possibly transphobic. So yeah, we don't say that. I know about the plan. We're moving the ship along with Rockies to Marlboro and showering the island with a song at full volume. Once the dream spirits awaken, we'll defeat them one by one. <clears throat> Our ship, the Zelbus, the ship can no longer set sail. I can't steer it. Ha, ah, who's asking you anyway? Oh boy. Listen up, mateys. The ship is no longer the Zelbus, but the SS Invincible. Set course for Marble and man your stations. It's useless. Huh? 
We'll see about that. We're gonna take back the island. Oh. Too many words are becoming bad. The reality is there always was. <laughs> We're just recognizing it finally. It always was. It's just, you know, time goes on, society advances, and we learn things about stuff that we thought was benign when it never was to begin with. <clears throat> it's all right. There's a lot of words in the English language, and we could pick plenty of them that aren't going to insult people, right? You don't ever know that. The desire to return to one's home is steering the ship forward. You mean the demi-humans. Once this ship reaches Marble, Rocky will begin his concert. We gotta do what we can to wake those monsters from their nightmare. So long, Jack. I've come to me senses. It's time you did the same. Gay yeah, used to mean happy. Right. Now it just means homosexual. Some people choose to tr use it as a slur, but it's literally just a descriptor that homosexual people use to describe themselves. So they would effectively have taken it back, I suppose, if that makes sense. As long as jerk face is still acceptable, absolutely. That's actually one of my favorites, Pops. <laughs> uh yeah, that one was always really bad, too, Darkens. Always. <laughs> but let's not poke the fence and say these things or put these words into others' minds. Uh, looks like they finally did it. Behold, my people. Marble is straight ahead. Well, then, it's about time we get down to business. Cool. Are we about to have the concert? Oh my god, this is sick. Are we getting the concert? Oh my god, it's concert time. Oh, it's fucking time. It's finally! Yes! <laughs> I'm turning it up. What's up, Jim Pansy? You're just in time. Adrift, adrift, adrift. From how many dreams have I awakened? How many morrows have passed? The days when victory meant everything have come to an end. Yesterday's friends become tomorrow's foes. So flow the days filled with betrayal and enmity. You got your 85 Walkman headset ready. <laughs> Once one reaches the summit, all that remains is one's inevitable downfall. All has become lost. The innumerable wounds, once decorations of glory, have begun instead to ache. Ah, have I awoken? Where might I be? Could this be the grave of the narwhals that is said to lie hidden in the seas? I think he's singing right now, but... Oh, there's the girls. There's Minky. We need to get her on our team. I'm using her. When we get her, she's like full-time in the team. I don't even care. <laughs> she's permanent mainstay of the team. Where am I? So, I am all alone. Just desserts for the likes of me. This will be the song to awaken the spirits and the monsters in marble so we can take care of it. Take their city back. Betrayed by the ones in whom I trusted. Gone are the friends with whom I shared my dreams. Alone with no lover to share my sorrows. 
Hither. Is someone thither? <laughs> or hither. <laughs> it's Mickey. Be it thou, my savior sweet. Hi, manly mariner. 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 I'm telling you, dude. I, the start of this playthrough, I said, if we get her, she's staying on the team forever. <laughs> Be thou not a mere maiden, but a mermaiden. Thou art surprised? Only that one such as thee would help a human like me. My eternal gratitude is thine, sweet siren of the sea. Twas but the proper thing. Why art thou alone here? Whence cometh the wounds that afflict thee so? Tis too sad a tale to tell one so fair. If thou wishest not to speak of such things, I shall force thee to tell them unto me. Instead, kind sir, may I inquire as to the world from which thou comest. <laughs> you should do slam poetry. <laughs> Uh. This is so cool. Enough! That shall suffice. What a wretched, woeful tale thou hast. Thou needest not fight there more. The world from whence thou comest lacks any form of pleasure. Pleasure? Dear sailorman, let me hear the song that thou dost like best. A splendid song from a faraway world, unknown to the likes of me. A song of such a thing I know not. Wherefore wouldst thou hear my croonings, Neptunian nymph? Surely there is naught to be gained from it. Uh-oh. What a poor, miserable man thou art. Songs be the soul's delight. Zipar, shut up! <laughs> oh, it's so bougie. Yeah, I know. It's so bougie, Zipar, you dick bot. <laughs> I'm hype trained through your heart. Very nice. Very nice. When one is sad, songs gently envelop one's sorrows. And when one is happy, songs are there to share the joy with thee. That be the very essence of song. So thou sayest. Unfortunately, singing has no relevance to me. I long ago forgot how to laugh and how to cry. I'm turning it up. How awfully nostalgic. I feel as though I have heard that song before, somewhere long ago. A mysterious melody that bathes you in a warm glow. Tis a precious song, handed down generation to generation on my island. Seems to have reached the heart of thee, who knows not of song. Now make me a promise. Repay me for saving you by singing this song for me. Ooh. It's Sanu Miki. <laughs> Hold on! Such a thing I cannot do. Cannot is different from will not. Please promise to grant this one petition. Wait, do not go. Come on. You can do it. Yes. As I thought, I am unable to perform such music. <clears throat> Thou seem troubled. More mermaids. Who might ye be? Our sister shan't come out again until thou singest. <clears throat> Please, I beg ye, teach me how to sing. Music and song are not something that thou canst teach or learn. They are the things that thou must feel. First try playing the notes. That is terrible. Tis void of all emotion. <laughs> uh... It's all right, Pops. Don't worry. <laughs> Zyfreak told me if he says anything wrong, I just let him know, and he deletes the, the words and blocks them. 
But it already has a substantial block list. Thou dost not need to be a bard so long as thou express thy feelings. The thoughts of thy heart that words cannot express. Let thy instrument tell us what thou want to say. Rock and fucking roll, baby. <laughs> this is better. Keep it up. Oh, yes. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Don't stop! <laughs> I wasn't done! It was just getting good! <laughs> what dost thou think? Tis beautiful, each note enwraps my very soul. Therefor thou art sorrowed and at the limits of despair, then croon this song and remember, dear, this very moment, the time when our hearts began to beat to one rhythm, and know that our song will continue on forevermore. Lo, the stars doth twinkle in accord with our song. The brighter one is the star of Diarmuid. And next to it, the star of Grania can be seen shining so faintly. We mariners navigate our vessels by these two stars. Thou art a knowledgeable man. I not know such names, of, the names of such luminaries. I just saw them as jewels that shine in the night sky. I didn't realize that stars could look so beautiful. I never took the time to gaze at them like this before. Nor ever heard the song that they had been singing unto me. Do play the song again. <laughs> now that I have spent what seems like days singing here with thee, I've come to realize that there is more than what seems to be. The twinkling of the stars, the waving of the waves, even silence itself. <clears throat> All sing in harmony with thee and me. It is strange to think that both thy world and mine share the same stars. Luminaries! Story getting in the way of jams. I know, right? I must soon return to my world. Wherefore, dear sir, dost thou not like it here? My pursuers are nigh. My staying here will endanger thy folk. Then allow me to come with thee, sweet sir. I cannot allow such a thing. One step out of here lie treacherous tempests and woeful warfare. Yet even then, even then thou dost say thou shalt come with me. I know that for a certainty, yet for this place only to have peace, while the whole world is at war is selfishness itself. Uh oh Perhaps the love we share can be shared with the whole world. Both nature and mankind must surely desire to live hand in hand. And comest thou to me, my sweet sea sprite, <laughs> until the whole world hath come to live in heavenly harmony. Upon that day shall I bring thee back to this idyllic isle. Then and only then will both our worlds have peace between nature and human folk and resonate in chorus with our anthem. Okay. Together let us build that whole new world. This is a very uplifting story. Come, my maiden, come. Yes! Play the song! Don't 
Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> Crank up the volume and pull off the knob. <laughs> Never played it, Epic. How are you, dude? Here you go. Here it comes. Does this song call out to your heart? You taught me this song. For a long time, I've been trying to regain what I've lost, but to no avail. But now, I feel as if the one important thing has finally returned. That's to the irreplaceable treasure you left behind. Happy for me too. Even though she said that, I too was unable to fulfill the promise I made Selvis. A dream is also my dream. I promise never to use this attack again, but there's no avoiding it. Please forgive me. This time I will protect you. Huh. Alright then, I'll show you how serious I can get. It's time for me to let loose in Marlboro. I think he just got his level seven tech. <laughs> Pillage, plunder opponent's treasure. Ooh, he's got steel. Call support fire for the SS from the SS Invincible. No, I don't know. Maybe that's what he got. Oh, here. The forbidden death blow unleashed from within. Is it Miki time? I have no idea. How do I get her? <laughs> It was still using a sound synth, not Red Book. I don't think this game uses Red Book or it will be skipping audio constantly. This is busted. Well, that boosts him up a notch as far as usefulness. Exterminate all the monsters of marble now. That's still like one of the coolest cutscenes I've ever seen in a game. Hey, yo guys, I'm sure you noticed, but it's something that ain't right. Uh, I know they're harmless, but they've grown in numbers. These monsters are somebody's bad dream, then whose? Or, or what? Dream? Does that mean these monsters die? Someone or something will wake up? I bet the dreamer's ten times as nasty as this nightmare. It's probably some big, huge, gnarly dragon. Sir Tobo, I think we're done here. Uh, yeah. I think I'm through with my investigation here. Don't get the wrong idea. It's not that I'm scared or anything. I'll take care. I don't think I can switch him out. Miki recruitment's right after? Okay. Do many PS1 games use Redbook? No, not many at all. Um, I'm pretty sure Symphony of the Night was one of them. Um, trying to think of others. Don't overwrite that last save. No problem. 
no problem. Do I have to kill every monster? Or do I just have to get to the end? Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Exterminate! We'll get to the end first. Fuck, Mitsuda is such a good composer. We gotta fight them all. I'm glad that you chose here, Epic, to hang out, kick back, and relax. I hope we can help you. Manta Ray, Lagunate. All right. Nice. Oh, it's not dead. Oh my god. All right, we're using Jack. Wasn't our first choice. New Jack. Yeah, he doesn't have uh, any really elements or anything to sign. Feral cats, let's go. <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. All right, let's use it. The forbidden death blow unleashed with from within. It hits one target. Doing it. He needs gear. <laughs> that could have been so much better. Oh, he needs gear. It looks so cool, and it was just like 90. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, then. Kill it. Nice. I love that this song is still playing. I'm so happy about that. Can I swap him out or no? Does anyone know? This is good design, when they keep a good song playing in an important moment in combat. It's such like a small, small change, but it's so important. It keeps the mood. Uh, this is Chrono Cross. PS1, Chrono Cross, sequel to Chrono Trigger. Excellent game. Well, sequel to Radical Dreamers, technically, yes, but... Hey, Thor. You got rugs? Nice. I want to switch them out, honestly. I don't think it'll let us, though. I don't think there's any save points here I can use. I could try to leave. Yeah, let's do that. Let me switch, let me switch, let me switch. <gasps> yes! Oh, all right, let's get her. Let's get the party member you voted for, chat. Fuck yeah. Here we go. Now it should be more effective. And the music picked right back up, that's great.
Let's see if she's any good. She's not tanky, I know that, but she's supposedly effective with everything else, so... Snake! Let's see what you can do. You can miss. 44, 44. That's okay. We'll have to see how her magic is. Lynx is busted, so he's always going to do too much damage. Why didn't I hear that? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Do that again. Yay. There it is. Yo, RPGfan.com or fancom or... Dude, just put the word dot and then branding. Come on, man. Just all across the board. It's going to get more clicks to your site. <laughs> RPGfanword.com telling you. It's the way to do it. You PB by four seconds in an eight hour speed run. Dude, GG. That's tight. Tizzy, how are you? How are you? Thank you for coming on in, everybody. You're at one of the coolest parts of this entire game. And I think you were just watching him play this, actually. Speed run this. Yeah, exactly, Vasuro. That's it. You got it. All right, these are all water enemies, so I'm going to use Meteor Shower here. This is the best song in the game. Immediately following the best cutscene in almost any game I've ever seen. Run is too long. <laughs> uh. They might, Neo. I don't know. Thanks for choosing me, Skapak. And all you folks coming along, supporting him on that raid. Thank you for doing that as well. I hope you have a good time here. It's my first time playing this game since 03. So we're definitely in a casual, semi-blind playthrough. These are tough enemies. What is this? That's some kind of trap element, isn't it? Element trap. Yeah, it is. Okay. Feral cats. This game is awesome, dude. It's so good. I'm not sure why you didn't recognize it, Epic. Maybe it's just been a very long time for you. There you go. That was pretty good. That mermaid, she's turned out really well. What's up, Greeny? How are you? <sighs> Tiring work week. Any good retro finds? We gotta kill every monster here. So kick back, relax, and enjoy the tunes. Pal SNES Mini. Weird. That is quite the unusual one. For reference, she's in like California. <laughs> so getting a Pal SNES Mini is really bizarre. So, so hype, so hype. Is that how I say it? So high or so high? Happy Friday to you as well. Hopefully it's treating you well. So hey B. So hey B. So hey B. Okay, got it.
Holy light, let's go. Get a mermaid. So, hey, B. <laughs> uh, wait, what? So, hey, B. So, uh, are you trying to say so, hey, B? <laughs> Are we good, Reg? Are we good? We got ready to need to reactivate. Can you automate that? It's a good game, yes. Saw the RPG fan stream. It's I've lurked there more often than I've let on. <laughs> but I do like lurking in that stream. Sometimes I have to stay away because I don't want to spoil a game I'm playing though, or will be playing. <laughs> nice stats. Okay. Except for Snake, that was a bad level. She has the most strength on the team. Why is her damage so low? That is the sus. Raid can go on for X amount of time. Just make it like five minutes. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a raid last five minutes. Let's see. His attack is 55, hers is 50. For 50 attacks, she's not doing a lot. Let's give her the Dragoon uh, Gauntlet. 53. Let's go for it. Yo, Sammy, thanks for the host. How are you today, man? PS1 library, yeah, is incredible for RPGs. And there's so many I never got to play. I'm like so excited for streaming for the next five years plus because <laughs> there's so many games I've never played that just look awesome. You wish you had 53 strength on anyone? I don't know how you beat the game. Like, it's just crazy to me. Okay. She's still not doing the best damage, but damn, she accurate. Holy crap. She has really good accuracy. Feral cats, let's go. There's a Katamari game on Vita. Yeah, our topic of the night is your favorite PSP and Vita games. However, for Vita games, I'm trying to limit it because I'm trying to learn about Vita games I would want to play because we just got this today. So PS TV just arrived today. Uh, if I'm going to play any Vita games, they need to be strongly retro oriented or they need to be like really good RPGs. Because I really, really try to stay to the retro vibe around here. Crisis Core? No, we can't play that. We already talked about that one earlier. Half of the soundtrack or more is owned by Warner Music Group, and they will give your channel DMCA strikes if you play it. So we're not going to be doing that game ever. <laughs> Nice. Just for kicks. It was UMD only. I have it, but yeah, I wouldn't be able to play it. Well, I mean, I would play it on there because I own the game, but. Valkyria Chronicles for PSP. That was what it was originally on, right? The first Valkyria was PSP, right?
We haven't seen what this does. This enemy is water, so it probably won't work, but... Dolce, thanks for the host. The second was PS3. Oh, okay. I've never played any of the Valkyria games. That was actually pretty good. She did that much damage to a blue element enemy. That's impressive. Seeing as she just used blue element. Thank you, Dolls. I hope you had a good stream. Really appreciate the host. UMD movies. I remember that. That was so weird. Fantasy Star on PSP. That's the one that's a Fantasy Star portable, right? I have that on my list as one that uh, to look into. Oh, they remastered the first two games. Oh, okay. I have Fantasy Star 2 and Genesis. I always go for original hardware first. So if I'm going to play a game, I'm going to find its original release. So if I ever played Fantasy Star 2, it would be Genesis, not PSP. <clears throat> Fantasy Star 4 was your first RPG. You picked a hell of a good one there. That's a great game. That's an awesome game. I still have to get a card of that. Still have to get a card of that one. Feral Cats. Here we go. Dang, almost 200 each. Ah, oh, the evasion. You went from Fantasy Star 4 to Shining Force 2. Damn. <laughs> It was just like back to back all time greats right there. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Oh, why do they dodge so much? <sighs> Stop fucking dodging. There we go. String phone. All right. There he is. There's the crit. He's got that stone weapon. That thing's pretty nice. I apparently lucked out getting a, something called a Denodorite way early to get that stone weapon. So it's done some work for us. <laughs> it's done some it's done some homework for us. We love Katamari. Is that PSP or Vita? I have the original one on PS2 now. Oh, there's three? Jeez, okay. Yeah! Papa Pondy, look at you, man. Five gift subs. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for that generosity. I really appreciate that. Having two water element characters here is making things a little difficult. <laughs> uh, we'll manage, though. 
That means we owe a wheel spin, by the way. Strength phone. Wait. Can we finally do frog prints? Hold on. We gotta try. This, we finally get to see frog prints. <laughs> Yes, let's go. Oh, I've never seen this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was strong. Wow. And they were blue elephant. Jesus. That was busted. Oh my God. What's the real name of the blonde girl? Marcy. I think it's Marcy. It was Marcy or Margie, yeah. All the names are not made, none of the names are made up by me. They're all made up by chat because we raffle off the naming rights for every single character in every RPG we play. Do, do, do. We love Katamari as the second game. New soundtrack and introduces yelling people. Oh, okay. Yeah, I still don't know why she's Snake. She has no connection to snakes whatsoever. Or stealth. But... Shiny do. What's that? Interesting. You've never seen her? She's one of the dragoons. You encounter her a couple times in the game. Okay, that was fun. Apparently, it decremented our stars on the left there. She's nine. Yes. Yeah. You could just look at her status screen to see everyone's ages. She, she, a youngin. All right. Oh, Frog Prince is pretty awesome. I'm going to use that. Is there a way to replenish those stars for summons? That could be answered if you would like to. Just rest it in, that's it? Shoot, that's easy. I need that better next time, Senpai. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just confused. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Oh, he dodged. Don't let me forget, I gotta do a wheel spin. Let's do it after this fight, shall we? Actually, let's... Yeah, no, no, hit that one. That's fine. Oh, dodging. She looks 15. You'll see, I'll, I'll show you the status screen. She don't really look that old. <laughs> like, I mean, come on. That don't look 15 to me right there, but hey. Strength phone. 15 is still a child, agreed. Yep. Nice. She's a stout 84 pounds, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's a little weird. Sing me the song of your people. 
Nice crit. He's a composer, Mitsuda. Mitsuda. Same composer as Chrono Trigger. Same composer as Xenogears. Did some other games too. Only Mitsuda, yep. Mm hmm. Here's Irenis, which chat named Ban Reg. She's, very, she's a pretty mermaid. 15, apparently. Everybody's like super young in this game. They're just super young. It's so weird. Like he's 17, I think. Yeah, see. But she's nine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she looks like she's nine to me. Just a small, small girl. Animated emotes. Yes, Faeus. I will be putting our animated emotes as our sub emotes. Yep. You will be able to use them. All across Twitch. And I have more. I had six commissioned. Not even a week ago. Having no idea this was coming. I was like, this would be fun for people to use for BT TV. And then Twitch drops that announcement that they were getting like all those tier one animated emotes. I'm like, bam, all right. I'm already ahead of the curve. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Luxstat. <laughs> Freaking Luxstat. <sighs> yeah, we're, yeah, it's going to be affiliates later this year. Partners are getting it first. Affiliates after. Maybe I'll get partner. I don't know. <clears throat> I beat out all the orders. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> poor, poor fish. Poor lightning fish. <laughs> Dude is getting hammered with orders right now. I'm just like, yo, I'm going to pay you more than you asked. You know, I want to work with you and only you. Exclusive of all this stuff. Like, yo, let's, let's make this work. <laughs> let's make it work, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, BGG, talk to Maureen. Maureen is awesome. Maureen creates. Maureen rambles. Maureen creates whatever she calls herself. Maureen made this emote. She did like 10 revisions for me to get it perfect. Maureen is awesome. She's a great emote artist. I highly recommend her. I actually am using a different one now, but I haven't been able to actually put his emotes into play until I get more slots, so, you know, someday. <laughs> Maureen made that. Yeah, she made a lot of skin teen emotes, a whole bunch. Most of their cat emotes, Verlitra were Maureen's. You know her through Carson Druitt. I know Carson Druitt through the Lady May. I think that's her husband. Um, Megan, the Lady May, has been on my channel a couple times for D&D one-shots. She's a really good artist, too. I don't think she does emotes though. So. Oh, stop touching! Oh. Lonnie, thanks for the host. How are you? How's the Lonnie? Stop, Dutch! Oh man, these things are so evasive. Just for kicks. <gasps> the emote library is a great addition. We'll be able to hot swap emotes like like this now. It's going to be amazing. Streamers will be able to just have a library of all their emotes uploaded to Twitch and you can just swap them in and out. It's 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 such a a small thing but a big impact. Really cool. Ah. 
Nice. It's Frog Prince time. Let's go, Bat and Rag. Show them how it's done. Hey, Epic. Thank you for the host, man. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you around, yeah? Oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> Wrecked. Stop dodging! All right, there we go. Doctor, oh. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for the host, man. Does it mean we have a Zelda set and a Mario set? No, they're always gonna be Finny Bears, man. Sweet cheeks. You've been following me for years, you forgot how I found me. Well, I can't say. I can verify you've been following since 2017, but this is the first time you've ever spoken. So I don't know. I don't have any record, but it's good to see you. I'm glad you've, um, you've been around for so long. Yeah. Uh, streamers and mods can see the entire chat history of everyone that's been in your channel. It's crazy. So when people say things like that, I'm like, Hey, maybe I can help you figure it out. You know? Because some a lot of the times it's like, oh, I came in on this person's raid, right? And you can see like their raid message. Yeah, I don't know. It's that's I've been around for years, so yeah, sweet cheeks. It's good to see you though. Welcome back. What kind of weapon is Ban Reg using? Uh, a harp. It says pick, right? Cause it's like, she uses a, a guitar pick on her harp. Yo, DP, thanks for the gift sub to Sweet Cheeks there. There you go. Now you get uh, all the cute bears and uh, ad free viewing for the next month. Back then you were really into background guy. That's probably it then. Cause I've been subbing to BGG's channel for five years and watching him longer than that. And we've raided each other for just as long. He's one of my mods and I'm one of his. So yeah, that's probably what it is, Sweet Cheeks. We're almost done, folks. Yeah, he used to speed run. Yeah, that's true. Do, 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 do. It looks like a dual-sided weapon. Let's try to give you a closer look, Pops. What's going on? Someone saw you, saw your message, and decided you needed to be a subscriber to the channel. So you have a free paid subscription for one month that gives you the emotes and the ad-free viewing. So there you go. Papa Pony, does that give you a good idea of what she's using there? She's using like a... I wouldn't call it a liar, but it's definitely a harp, like a hand harp. She looks pretty cool. I like her design. It did a good job with her. Tristan, that's not funny. This is why you... I like when people talk. <laughs> oh, you meant Lynx. Yeah, he's using a dual weapon. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a two-handed... It's a two-sided blade of some kind. Like a two-sided halberd. Dynamic. There we go. There. Does that give you an idea? It's like a double weapon. It's a double weapon. I don't. I don't know sure if it's a halberd. I'm not really sure what I would call it, but it looks cool, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Mobile harp tillery. Very funny. <laughs> Based off a of boat or fashion into a weapon. That's true, yes. That's what it was. Initially, he had a boat or, didn't he? 
Lonnie's doing fantastic. Happy to say that in two weeks, your partner and I will be moving in your first rental home. Yo, that's sick. Are you going to have a special room for streaming or like a special new setup that you're going to use for like a camera? Or are you going to keep it with like your cool layouts, your Pokemon layouts that you use? I liked your Pokemon layouts because you showed like the Pokemon that you're all, you're going to do that. Oh, that's really cool. Keep us updated in Discord about that. I like to see when people are doing that kind of thing. We want pictures. We want pictures, Lonnie. <laughs> Zit poppers in large scale? Oh my god. <laughs> Double ended glaive. There you go. There you go. Fly low. You're having the stream described to you like with audio description. Okay. Good. Good. That's, that's how you do around here, apparently. String font! I don't know what her weapon is, to be honest. A shield? Getting a new desk and some soundboards are still up for discussion since you needed to get permission from the landlord. Soundboards. Are you talking about acoustic foam? Because that's way different. That's a very different thing. <laughs> a soundboard is a piece of tech that you push a button on and it plays a sound. That's what a soundboard is. Someone told you the same thing? They were wrong. <laughs> Make sure... Lonnie, you know there's an audio channel in my Discord? Like, I know all about stream audio. Don't put up fucking acoustic panels because they look cool. Because they won't do shit for you, okay? That's not what they're for. They're there, designed to be put in strategic locations on your walls and your corners. Anywhere where bass and audio reverberates. They're designed to destroy reflections. They're not soundproofing. Acoustic foam is not soundproofing, just so you know. <laughs> it's a very, very different concept. It will not soundproof your room at all. You can cover your entire room with those things. People are still going to hear you. That's not what they do. You've been lied to. Your friend is a hacker. Okay, you, you need to ask the experts then. <laughs> if they told you acoustic panels are soundproofing, I don't know what they're talking about. They have no idea. They probably saw some streamers use it and just made an assumption. Fair enough, because there's a lot of streamers that do the same thing, thinking the wrong thing. Frog Prince! Here's what acoustic panels can do if placed properly. If you're using a condenser mic, and your audio sounds really echoey, if they're placed in the right locations, it'll help with that. It can mitigate that. But yeah, use that audio channel, Lonnie, all right? When you're you're getting set up. I'm sure your friend was trying to help. I just don't think that they were well informed. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to say that they were trying to trick you or they're they're stupid. I'm saying they were probably misinformed. You have a blue yet? You have a condenser, yeah. Acoustic panels placed in the right spots can help you with that echo. You know what else helps break up echo? Putting stuff on the walls. Hanging things on the walls, especially things with lots of surface area, because that's what acoustic panels are. Just extremely precisely designed surface area. Because all the sound waves just bounce all over the place and dissipate every time they bounce. So... The most, like, low-budget way you can help with that is to hang a towel. Like a fuzzy towel on a wall. It'll help. Hang all the skulls of your enemies all over the place? That would actually work, yeah. There's a lot of surface area on skulls, Tristan. Very wise. Very wise. Yeah. See? He knows. He knows. Uh. <laughs> I'm not joking though Like it actually would work 
<laughs> like if your wall is just covered in skulls, you're not going to have a lot of echo. I promise. <laughs> Sound is just pressure wave moving at 900 miles per hour. Yeah, your goal is to dissipate all those reflections of those waves with as much surface area as possible. Remember that witness? The witness? What are you talking about, Reg? I don't understand. Reg's being cryptic, chat. Nice crit. Oh, she is taking folks out. No, 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 no. Your partner says you can get some equipment upgrade, including a mic stand. You need a mic stand, Lonnie. You really do. Even with a condenser. Literally everyone that streams needs one. You just do. Or you sound like you're freaking shouting from across the room. That's just what it does. Like, if that's what you want to sound like or you, you're not worried about, that's fine. But people who have condensers, like, sitting over here... We're catching the more of the reflections off of the desk surface than we are your actual voice. So it just sounds like you're talking in an empty room. Tons of Twitch streams do that. You need to do some research? Just ask us in our Discord, Lonnie. I've done so many audio consults for streamers. One of them is talking in chat right now. <laughs> Why didn't it work? Damn it. I did meteor shower. It was cool. He missed it. Feels bad. Feels bad. Screen, skeen, scene, scene, schmeen. Say scene again. I didn't see it enough. I didn't see it enough. <laughs> Need you think about your audio? Same answer, man. Use that audio channel in my Discord. Hit it up. I check that channel, and when people have questions, I'll answer it. I'm not the only one. You have a slight budget. It's fine. A dragon's cry was heard. Sweet Cheeks, Phantom Power is just something that's required to run a condenser mic. That's all it is. It's just something you need to get the condenser mic to work. It's effectively a power switch that you need at the end of the day. I think we won. Basically, the difference, for anyone that's curious, a dynamic mic simply responds to the audio going into it and then it vibrates and it translates that vibration into electric signal a condenser mic requires an electric current going through that capsule for the vibration to work properly but the end result is that it's more sensitive than a dynamic however the downside is since it's more sensitive it picks up more ambient audio all around you versus a dynamic where all i have to do is move it over here and suddenly it sounds way different because the noise rejection and the range is much more pronounced. So yeah, dynamic mics for streamers. I always recommend if you don't mind a mic being right here, right in front of your mouth. Let's rest in the bed. That was a long, long side quest, but man, we got to see the greatest, one of the greatest cutscenes I've ever seen in a video game. Active noise cancellation. Right, because this is only responding to actual voice, like actual sound waves. There's no electric current going through it, which is, you know, enhancing its sensitivity. So there's a doubt, there's a use for those. There's more mic types than that too. You also have boom mics, you have ribbon mics, you have uh, lav mics, which are effectively dynamics. They're just wearable. But the four main types, dynamic, condenser, boom, and ribbon, 
never used a ribbon mic myself, and I never really looked into it, but they're even more sensitive than condensers. <clears throat> Alright, I don't know what that dragon roar was, but honestly, I think marble is free. I think it's go it's time. Go back to Zelma's restaurant. Okay, Flair, thanks. Let's go get Miki. Finally. Man. Finally. You use a dynamic? You need it right here. You need it right here, Loki. Not over here. Not on your desk. Not far. It needs to be like an inch or less from your mouth. Sometimes I have it touching my mouth. It's touching my mouth right now. It needs to be right here, man, to get the full effect. Mic technique is the number one way to improve your audio. And mic technique is a combination of where you place your mic and how you physically speak into it. If you have a dynamic, it needs to be right here. All right, rotate safe. Use a sure SM58. It absolutely needs to be right there then. Yeah. Sure SM58 is basically the same as the SM7B. They use the same capsule, but it's not as well engineered. It's the one that's been around for 70 years or more. What's a Condi? I've never heard of that brand. Have one of your mods hold a boom mic? Boom mic you can have farther away. They're just extremely directional. You ever... Some of you in the United States probably recognize this, or even in, like, um, soccer slash football. You ever seen those guys standing on the sidelines holding those, like, satellite dish-looking things? They're holding boom mics. <laughs> That's what those are. Uh, they're just, like, they, they just use these parabolic dishes on them to even enhance the directional capabilities of them. Yeah, you could put a boom mic on a mic arm, Pops. It'll still work fine. Restaurant and Zelbess. Dude, dude, Burra wants to see a retro thing. Okay, Burra, stand by. Oh, it's you. I always get like this after a gig, you know? Pretty sad sight, ain't it? A grown woman moping around like a little girl. I know our gig is just a show, but I do have feelings for him. Aw. <laughs> Yo, Kios, what's up? You went really late tonight, man. I'm not used to seeing you up this late. Reg makes a good point there. I'll address that sec in a second. Kios, man, thank you. Friday night. Yeah, that's right. You don't work on the weekend, do you? <laughs> Kios. What's up, my friend? L let me give you the spiel. Anyone else that's come along that's new tonight, it's good to have you. Um, thanks for hanging out with us tonight. If you're new here, just know all follows here are anonymous. We love our lurkers out there. And if you want to hang out without the worry of your name appearing on screen or me or anyone else calling you out, no fear. We don't do that because I'm a lurker myself. And when I go to a new channel, I want to be able to hit that follow button and not be like somebody trying to have a conversation with me. Because sometimes I'm really busy, you know, or I'm just waking up or whatever. I just, you know, I don't have the spoons. So if you're a big lurker right now and you want to hit that follow button, no worries. And check out this cool video. Here's our vibe right here. Magnumers going to bed. How dare you? That's fine, man. Have a good night. Have I gotten that cutscene? Yes, uh, about an hour and a half ago. It was awesome. It was pretty awesome. Do, 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 do. Followers Anonymous, exactly. Also remember, when you hit the follow button, you have to push it as hard as you can, like an NES controller. Uh, it, it makes it count for more follows that way. Just, you know, just saying. <laughs> I would like to see at least one tonight. I haven't gotten any, and that's not normal. 
I just can I just have one? <laughs> just one? Can I have just one? Uh, we're in a drought, all right? We're in a drought, chat. <laughs> Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's good to have all you folks here. Look at all those mega bears. Flame. I missed it, but good night. Anami. How are you, sir? Welcome back. One way to follow. Yeah, yeah. We're on vacation now, so why not have me take me with you? Yes! Normal hard fin. Nice. I'd play it. We got Miki! All right. Permanent party member gets, and you get to name her. You get to name her. You get to name her, chat, exclamation point, Emmy, to enter the raffle. Six characters maximum. Have a name ready. Have a name ready, or we will skip you if you don't have one ready. Everyone's got an equal opportunity, though, so good luck. Shouldn't tell anyone she's permanent? I've been saying that since we started this playthrough. Pop says not me. Thank you, Pops. Yeah, Pops already won tonight, so he's abstaining. I appreciate that. We've gotten a ton of teammates tonight. I think we've got five or six, and this is a seventh. Six or seven. All right, the winner of the raffle to name Miki is going to be that maestro guy. Maestro, take it away. What do we got? Tammy. Okay. What's that from? Is that a reference? Or do you just like the name? Kira was your pick, Sammy? Kira Miki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been the Valhalla. She looks like a Tammy to you. Fair enough. She kind of does have that Tammy vibe, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Tammy a candy? She's got a candy look, too. She could do be a candy, yeah. All right, let's look at her stats. Magic's 21. Accuracy's very high. Oh, oh, the mermaid's better. The mermaid's better. Mmm, tough call. Maya, Maya. Looks like a, she's a Fina to you. We're gonna use her. Like, I just... I've been saying this. You've named her Becky and then accepted your veto and ban. Hmm, okay. I think she's gonna replace the mermaid. As good as the mermaid is. As good as the mermaid is. Yeah, she's a red element, too. That is really nice. Yo, Seamus, how you doing? Okay, let's check her out. Other than her... Her really pretty outfit? Dancer extraordinaire. Oh, man, I dig it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, the weight? Okay, ignore the weight. They're all, they're wrong. Everyone's weight in this game is wrong by, like, 20 to 40%. Legitimately, like, 20 to 40%, they're all just wrong. I think they fucked up the conversion from kilograms to pounds in this game. There's no way she's 95 pounds. 
<laughs> because Marcy was like 80 some pounds. Welcome back, Chaos. She's got to be, yeah, she looks like about a buck 15 or so, right? Yeah, you think they replaced kilogram with. <laughs> I don't think they quite did that. I think they screwed up the conversion. Uh, 85 pounds in your bra. Oh my goodness. All I can say is this is my vibe right here. Oh man. Yeah, she's definitely not 200 pounds. She I, she looks like a good buck 15, buck 25, you know. Probably got a lot of muscle on her. Dancer extraordinaire. 5'7", slender, right-handed. All right, let's take a look at her capabilities. First things first, we must bid adieu to Banreg. Banrag, you were excellent. Quite powerful and useful. But we have this this gal now. You're 5'9, 170. Dude, you were you're a beanstalk. <laughs> Dude, I've seen you with crop tops on. You have no fat whatsoever. You're an absolute freaking beanstalk, Kios. <laughs> Head bopper, a dance that's bound to make heads turn. Single foe, okay. Sexy wink, a lusty look that'll make any foe go gaga. Oh boy, here we go. It's, it's gonna be one of these, huh? Strange things, you don't think you've ever heard those words in a statement. <laughs> Dude. Do, 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 do. No, I think they ruined the conversion, Belvin, because everyone's weight in this game is wrong. Every single person. They think General Viper is six foot seven and barely over 200 pounds. The dude looks like he's built like a shit brick house. He's all muscle. There's no way he's a, a hair over 200 pounds. They fucked up everyone's weight in this game. Every single person in the game, their weight is wrong. They did the conversion wrong. Do, do, do. They did the conversion wrong. Ah. All right. Um, Ban rag. I'll take all your gear as well. Oh, she's got stone mail and granite glove. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave me out of this, thank you. Uh. <laughs> God damn it, Thor. Uh. Thank you for 501 bits, and you voted for Psychonauts. Her stamina recovery is 13 now. I could give her Kung Fu shoes uh, to really boost her evasion. I could give her a dreamer's scarf. Take care, DP. It's good to see you, man. Unless they did like... Right, I think they put the wrong multiplier in it, is what I'm saying. Because everyone's weight in this game is way off. It's really strange. Where's the... Oh, she's got the Sky Gen ring. Okay. 23 magic power is pretty good. Yeah, let's give her these shoes. 23% evasion. Her tax 46. Not too bad, but she's not here really to be doing melee damage. Math is hard. It's true. 84 pounds. 176, 64. No. No. <laughs> no. That's not right. That's incorrect. Let's look at some more egregious examples here. This guy's 137. 510. Does he look 137 to you? He don't look 137 to me. Oh, good luck, Vixie. You think Chuck is close? You think 137 is close there? 
at 510? That's not a healthy weight. <laughs> Maybe they're like bags of chips. <laughs> you're six foot and 140? Yeah, Reg, you're a freaking beanstalk. Don't tell us otherwise. You know that's true. Here's one that's absurd. Six foot seven, 216. This man is emaciated. This man is going to be hospitalized. Not even... <laughs> this man needs some steak. Holy crap. Yeah, and he looks that thick. He's full of helium. There you go. This one? She actually looks her weight. But she's kind of tall. 5'7", 104. Joel Embiid is seven foot and weighs 280. Yeah. Yeah, and he's muscle as hell. She has no legs. Yeah, she's absolute beanstalk. So she actually looks somewhat accurate. Five eleven, one fifty nine. Look at the muscles on this guy. Nah. With that much muscle, he should be at least a buck 80. With this much muscle on him, he should not be 159. He should be at least a buck 80. At least. We're probably closer to 195, 200. Yeah, he's 5'11, 159 with that much muscle. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> no way. Yeah, easily cruising 200. Easily. 63203. That's that's reasonable, but also look how muscular he is. <laughs> this guy is built of fuck. He's wide. He's wide boy. Yeah, yeah, the calves alone are like 50 pounds. <laughs> uh Cut of the Barbarian, 7, 12, 135 pounds. <laughs> he is thrusting his cod piece. He wants you to see it, so, you know. <laughs> oh, man. I like doing it. These, these are wildly inaccurate. This one, this one probably made me the most irritated. Look at how wide he is. This guy's like dwarven proportions. He should be like 240. 240 of solid muscle. He works in a forge. He stands by heat hot enough to melt metal all the time. And he's all muscle. He should not be 181. He should be way more than that. Bump up. He cannot be shaped like that at 5'8". I'm not thin shaming. What about this guy do you see as thin? I'm talking about how they got it wrong with the visual appearance versus what their fucking weight is. <laughs> what about this do you see is fucking thin right now? Don't even come at me like that. You're 5'9", 170? Yeah, and you're an absolute beanstalk, dude. Kios very skinny. 5'7", 203, build chubby. Yeah, this one, I could see this one, actually. I could see this one. I th I th he honestly looks a bit bigger than that, though. But he does look heavier than that. But yeah. Junior high, you were 4'6", 240. Oh, my goodness. Big boy. I think the most I ever was was like 280. And that was like 10 years ago or so. Somewhere in there. And I'm 5'11". I don't know what I am right now. Between 215 and 235, probably. The NFL would be very different with these kinds of reports. <laughs> uh, 5'8", Old Thin Man. What do you think about this one? 
You're 5'7", 180. Nice, Chobin. Good for you, dude. You really changed yourself, didn't you? You're 5'4", 165-ish, and that's because you're built like a thin dwarf. That blacksmith is a dwarf store. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the numbers, I feel like they just put random numbers there and didn't actually apply them to the art design. What about the pirate? Six foot, 163. Like that, those numbers together aren't the problem. It's when you look at the character, it doesn't make any sense. That is not 163 right there for six foot tall. Like, look at the character. That just doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit. Like BGG said, put some numbers in a number generator and throw them at anime characters. Yeah, pretty much. And calves are where the weights are. <laughs> There we go. We got her again. She's 95 pounds. No way. She's like a buck 15. She's got muscle. A belly dancer is very muscular. She would be at least a buck 15. At least. This one we can't relate to. It's a, literally an alien that's 2 foot 11. 11 pounds. <laughs> like, all right. I don't really have a frame of reference here, so... Let's weigh him like we would a cat, I guess. Pirate guy got to be 200 pounds with that build muscle is heavy. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Kyo's like, that one's me. Uh, your cat weighs more. Same. Yeah, same. And then like old lady gremlin, four foot four, 86. Uh, sure. That may, more, probably checks out. I don't really know. I mean, she's like an old gremlin. Build dwarfish, it says. Yeah. What about the mermaid? Again, this doesn't really work because it's a mermaid, not a person. 5'10 and 115, I guess. I don't know. Like, she's a fish lady. So, yeah. Looks good for 224. Yeah, touche, touche. Who's punk? Oh, the kid. 4'11", 88. 14 year old. Sure. And then the robot. It's a cyborg. That's why he's 401 pounds and 6'8". Was the show retro thing done? No, I forgot. Sorry. Can we do it after the break? Because I have to use a restroom. Well, we finally got Miki. We're going to try her out. Um, she's going to be a mainstay of the party. Just It was a goal I set for myself at the beginning of the uh, playthrough. We have a lickety here hanging out with us. I was blown away by Rocky's performance. <laughs> We got, all right, so we got the concert, right? We got Mickey, Mickey, Tammy, whatever the hell you want to call her at this point, right? Now all we got to do is just play the story. Those are the two most major goals I had in this game. We did them all tonight. That's amazing. All right, so mechanical question for you, Chrono Cross experts. We got a special tech for Fargo by doing a conversation, basically a quote unquote side quest. Does Miki have something similar? Good job, everyone. Good job, ladies. You did you did well. Ari? Arium? Arium. Arium. There it is. 
How you doing? I like your cat emote. Speaking of, that's my camera, yeah. <laughs> She's there. Thank you. Words cannot express how I feel inside. This event has allowed me to see myself differently. I hope to share this feeling with not only humans, but with all living creatures. What a surprise to see you here, Tommy. You never come here. She's like, I'm the star. Yeah, I know, Faris. <laughs> she learns hers latch. He, she learns hers naturally at 35, so she doesn't have like a secret side thing. It's nothing. Oh, uh, she she fancies him, Snake. Whatever. <laughs> That's like his daughter or sister or something. All right, so Lickety is laid down on the desk. Oh, he just says the same thing. All right. So Minky will eventually get her best ability just through natural progression. I mean, Tammy. Whatever. So the question remains for us, chat. We don't have Harl anymore. She was an absolute centerpiece of this team and she's gone. So who do we fit in that slot? Like we're using Marcy, AKA Snake. <laughs> Thank you, Pops. <laughs> Snake. I, I am really struggling to say that word. Snake. <laughs> Uh, we need a centerpiece right there. Like a character that's as well-rounded as Mar as Harl, AKA Ban, uh, ya bum was. You take snake mage? I'd be basically running double mage cause that's what Mickey is. She's mage. Wait, was she on this boat? Can I get her back? We had Magus. <clears throat> uh, wrong game, but I'll, I'll work on it. She was on this boat, right? Or was she in the other world? She was in the other world's boat, wasn't she? Ban Reg is well-rounded. Browse, very funny, Reg. Very funny. You know what I think we should do? We liberated Marble, right? Did we not? Maybe all of its inhabitants are back and we should visit and see what the difference is. Sammy's like, I don't get, oh. <laughs> Link kitty. My cat's being cute. She's hanging out with us, chat. the music stops in this room it's such a good track here though they're not here wonder where all the residents are it's a little odd maybe it takes some time right We killed them all. No, we didn't. We killed the monsters, Reg. You, you, you butt. You, you bully. I can't use the Smith spirit here. All right, I would like a hint from chat here. Because this game is so open-ended. That's really honestly what I really like about this game is how open it is.
Give me a hint about this book. Just a hint. I don't want to know where to go. I just want a hint. I got it in the Dead Sea, and I don't know what the hell it's for. The monsters are in the current rest. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite movie theater snack, by the way? I was thinking about that, because somebody in mod chat asked me that. I'm trying to remember who it was. Somebody in my mod chat. So I was like, hey, this would be a good question. And I was like, yeah. I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, that's a good one. Favorite movie theater snack? Glossettes? I need a picture. I never heard of it. Look at you. You're so cute. Popcorn, extra butter. The classic. The classic. Nachos and cheese cream. Cheese cream? It's for one of my characters. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Somebody I have right now, then. Interesting. 50 50 Icy? I know what an Icy is, but I don't know what you mean by 50 50. Oh, 50 50. Popcorn and one of those ice cream cones coated in chocolate. Nice, nice. Are those another Canadian thing you Canadians don't know Americans don't have? Probably, yeah. <laughs> that happens a lot around here. Same for Australian things. Same for Australian things. My favorite are dots. Oh. These have a different name in the US. They might be different, like a different manufacturer, but it's the same concept. These are just called like raisinets, I think, in the US. I think they're just called raisinets, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I know what an icy is, but what the heck does 50-50 mean? Dippin' dots? No, dots. Just dots. Just dot. Plain old dots. Dots. Here, I'll get my own picture. It's really hard to do with this cat blocking my keyboard. Kitty. Lickity. Here we go. That's a good picture. Dots. Literally just called dots. This is what I like to get at a movie theater. Let me show you. Paste and go. This. They're very gummy and chewy. They're almost like fruit snacks, but chewier. They're really good. I like these. I like these. They're like softer fruit snacks. Gumdrops? Yeah, I believe that's right. Yeah, I like these. This is my favorite movie theater snack. Add a pack of gloss sets in the next package. Hell yeah, dude. I'd be happy to try that. Never did like MOBAs? Wait, now I'm lost. <laughs> Wait, what? You like a medium iced tea because you're not paying theater costs for food? It's fair. Fair. You didn't drown in the shower. That's impressive. Yeah. This is worth celebrating, of course. Uh. <laughs> like, wait, what did I miss? <laughs> it, almost, it almost costs more to get a medium than a large where you're at. Jeez. Bob! Bob, come with me. Oh, Bob won't come with me. Peekman's hanging out here. You folks told me I had to progress the story to get my people to rejoin, right? Which is a little sad. I want Bob. Honestly, Bob would be a really good ad. <clears throat> Putting Bob back in the team 
Man. Man. The medical book is worthless to me. Oh. Well, well darn. Now, mm -mm. mm -mm. oh, Ariam, I missed your uh, message about Nightcat's email up there. I'm sorry. I know you from Ryu's channel, right? mod in that channel. It looks cool in my inventory. Is it like, like if I had to guess, you give it to Doc, but I don't know. Let's keep, let's try to give it to Doc and see what happens. Why not? It's like my first guess. Let's go give him a book. Here's another banger of a track. He won't take it. Family members of the patient. The show retro thing he does? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Spends a good uh, 10 minutes or so. How much can you spoil? Uh, generally speaking, I basically am only looking for information I ask for. But thank you for asking. By the way, a reminder folks, we're opening applications to be a mod. That link there in chat goes into more detail about what we are looking for and expecting from mods. Ooh, I have more Denodorite? When did I get that? Ooh. Now we need to decide who to give that to. Hmm. Saucepan. The glove is used by a lot of people. I don't know who we're using in slot three. What do you mean, Softlock Smith? No, Rank, why? <laughs> oh no, I'm out. Uh, Rank, why are you terrifying me right now? I'm good, I don't want to trade elements. Tammy's permanent? Tammy is permanent. Yes, I'm not swapping her out. I'm looking for that third slot. I didn't come here to Smith. I came here to get Doc and it didn't work. <laughs> Fish and mailed, Reg. Fish and mailed. Dragon Tears in this village? Oh, we need that. Hello, Orcha. Where's Orla? She must be in the other world. Doo -doo -doo. I was trying for Doc. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check the element shop. can buy some stuff we need more of. Let's get one more of these. Only if innate color red 99. Oh, I forgot to equip Miki with gear and with elements. This is going to be nice to her. Temporarily keeps hit percent of basic attacks at 99%. Yep. <laughs> we want that. We definitely want that. Uh, 
All right, uh, ban reg. No more elements. All right, since this is plus or minus two, I don't think that its level is going to matter. Sexy wink. Oh my goodness. When did I get Inferno? <gasps> oh, we have Inferno. Oh, this is sick. I don't remember getting this, but I'm excited. Welcome to 99.4 FM, the Chrono. <laughs> Nice. I like it. Let's get the volcano trap. I guess she can't use it. Oh, it's level six. Right. She's our dedicated healer. The issue with that is that some heals are blue. <laughs> Your character would be 5'2 and weigh 334 pounds. <laughs> oh no, Rick. Uh, Reg, look out. That's out of control. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little, it's a little wild, my friend. All right. Double recover all. We don't have any more revives, so I'm not sure where I'm going to get those. I uh, heal all plus one. Put a heal there, plus two. Anti blue. Ooh, that might be cut. That might be good. Temporarily seals blue elements. Yep. Honestly, I think Magma Bomb is actually going to be pretty good on her. Like, we can use a bunch of those. Put a Magma Burst there. Some more debuffs. Debuffs and buffs. Theater food talk makes you want to go again. I haven't been to a theater in probably... It was at RPG Lumen Break was the last time, so 2019. We went and saw Avengers Endgame. There was like 10 of us. One of my mods was there, Background Guy 02. Um, some other people from that are either part of this community or the Twitch community. Lethlin was there, uh, Weewon. Um, I think RPG Chick went. A whole bunch of people that went. It just like a huge group of us went. Took up an entire, almost an entire row. <laughs> Snow caps. Oh, I like those. Those are tasty. Snow caps are pretty good. This is such a nice track, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't done. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're menuing. I know. It's very exciting. I'm sure you're all just enthralled right now. I'm a turn blue. Yeah. Lower resistance, uh, lower magic defense. At this point, fill blanks. Looks good to me. She's ready to go. All right, she has 21 magic. She has 26 strength, which is bad, but her attack is not bad. Uh, very accurate. I think this is the weak spot in the party right now. We'll find out though. 2019, you saw the Joker film. Turn blue, getting drunk. Sure. 
Wait, Reg, you said that there's a soft lock here. So if I save first, <laughs> uh, if I save first and it's soft locks, I can reset, right? Let's go investigate this dragon tier, by the way, by with Stina and whatnot. You don't know if saving fixes it or not. Oh, I'm not saving them. Foreigners are not allowed to enter the tower. Well, that sucks. What should we do now? At this rate, we won't be able to borrow the dragon tier. Speaking of the dragon tier, shouldn't we return to the broken tier to the shrine in the other world? The shaman in the other world might be able to help us. Hey, we got a clue as to what to do. Clutch. Clutch, Miki. Oh, the tear of hate? That's what that is. Oh, it all makes sense. I went here on accident. And it was the right way. <laughs> Bobs with a clue by four? I need that. I need that. I need that. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Ha! Take that, Reg. Your fear-mongering conspiracy about save file lockups and crashes. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> if you get the pop-up to board the ship, you're fine. Got it. All right. Well, let's go to the other world. We got a huge clue, and I'm going to follow it. Why is this entire soundtrack legendary? The whole soundtrack. You watch High Spirit lose two runs in a row to, ooh, really? It's a speed run killer. Oh, that's awful. No wonder people don't run this very often. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the soundtrack is amazing. Blue Sammy, too best to be a lot. That's true. Blue Sammy is too best to be a lot. Bot said it, Sammy, so must be true. Apples or bananas, poll. Easy, easy. 42 was the answer, yeah. Somebody put a joke answer, so we won't get the real... <laughs> we won't get the real official results. Hey, whatever. Yeah, Mitsuda is amazing, Faeus. Also, hello. Bork, bork, bork. It's a bork. How are you doing, man? Oh, I just want to listen to the music. There's a bug on my ceiling. Oh, it's the Sky Dragon Isle. Okay. Doing well, bork. Oh, that reminds me, have you had a chance to look at that sheet that I sent you? Also, I have to tell you, Bortz, it was, God, I don't know what time it was for me. It was like I was up because I couldn't sleep, either because I woke up or I hadn't fallen asleep yet. But you were streaming, so I lurked for a good while during that stream. But I was so groggy. I think you were playing that. It was one of those, was it that FPS game? It was some FPS game, I think. The one that like stops when you don't move. Was that what you were playing? What the hell was it? You saw me in the chat? Oh, I never look at my chat, so. <laughs> I just, like, I was so tired. I'm like, I can't talk right now. 
I just remember it was like, Bart's alive. Let's go hang out. Super hot mind control delete. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it was super hot. Okay. I thought, I thought it was one of those like weird shooter games, which honestly are fun to watch. You only like when you start and end for bots. Ah, okay. I, I used to look years back, but like, I don't care about the bots anymore because some of them are really helpful. Like, especially commander root, like commander root is a bro. He is like the Twitch streamer bro of all bros with all those awesome tools and whatnot that he gives us. So I'm like, yo, you can hang, <laughs> you can stay. You are allowed to be here. <laughs> Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom, boom. Part soldiers in a small village like this? Something's odd. And who's that lady? You dare to resist the poor military. Is that Orla? Yes. So what if I resist? Why don't you stop hiding behind your men and try to stop me yourself? Uh, I'll make you regret that. Uh, all right, you go. She seized this girl. 42-1. There you go. Well, why me, sir? Uh, don't talk back. This is direct order. Get with it on the double. Y you heard us. Cease your resistance. A woman should be more gentle and ladylike. <laughs> I think she just kicked him with the nuts. <laughs> oh, that looked low. That kick looked low. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, amazing you're not in that category no commander root goes to like every channel like literally all of them if you streamed once in a quarter he's probably been in your channel <laughs> uh. He actually like does these really informative quarterly statistics on Twitch itself. I love them. Yeah, Commander Root is excellent. There, that'll teach you a lesson, oh great soldier man. Or do you need another round? Look at him, he's looking around like, uh... <laughs> oh God! Well, isn't this our legs? We cannot arrest this girl on our own. Please help us, sir. There are more of you, but you're still no match for me. Leave this village now. I don't want to fight you. Oh shit, we gotta fight Orla? Oh, I wanted to get her on my team. Yeah, I got you, Bork. I understand, man. I understand, dude. All right, so this is our first battle with Tammy. And that's Orla. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> The stay hydrated bot was banned like two years ago. Something like that. It's been gone for a long time. Wait, dynamic, there we go. Okay, she's actually doing really good damage. She might work out. You thought you heard it was back? It's possible. If it has been, I haven't seen it personally. Oh, Orla's blue, so that explains it. Nice. That was pretty good. Hey, what's up, Dark One? How you been? It was banned originally, but people could send it to any channel with the streamer's choice. Yes, correct. Yeah. That is true. Oh, she hits. Oh, she hits hard. Okay. She's got really high evasion. Oh, and the crit to the face. <laughs> Ouchies. All right, so we want to use red magic on her. Cause she is blue innate. Uh, but it doesn't look like we have any, so not on her anyway. Lower her evasion, numble. <clears throat> I'm 
best video game waifu poll. Gee, she's a Street Fighter character. Tifa, Miki, B2. I don't know who that is. Or Rummy. Ugh. Ew, gross. <laughs> That's nasty. Uh. That's icky. Do, 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 do. Strengthen. Okay, let's let's uh reverse that. There you go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Meteor shower plus three. Let's go. Hi, Gar. How are you? I haven't played near any of them, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Ninety-nine links, please, links. This is an awesome spell. Boom, boom. All right, defend. We need stamina. Actually, you could do an element. <clears throat> Fire pillar. There you go. I think that poll confused people because not a lot of people voted on it. <laughs> Everyone's like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't want to vote on this. It's confusing. Who's Rummy? A joke. Graviton. Okay, we need to heal. That's you, Tammy. Tammy, we need heals. All right. Help us out. He's wanting to recover alls. Should be pretty good. Yeah, that was actually pretty good for a level three. All right, 99. Look at that. One, three, three. Bam! Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. <laughs> ah. She got strength, resistance, and agility. Oh, she's catching up already. You'd love to see it. Yeah, try anyone that just got here. Do the CC command. There you go. Loki, your Chrono Cross character will be 5'2 and weigh 144 pounds. Oh, okay. Thank you for your troubles. Please leave the rest of us. We'll take her into custody and send her to her headquarters. Uh, wait. I order you to your, and your troops to return to headquarters. We'll take care of this girl. This village will be under Sir Lynx's command until further notice. Report that back to high command. But that will be too much trouble for... Didn't you hear? This is an order from your superior officer. If you disobey, you will be court-martialed. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> y yes, sir. We'll gather the troops and head back to headquarters at once, sir. Nice. Gar, your Chrono Cross character will be 6'4 and weigh 165. Wow. Faeus, your Chrono Cast character will be 5 foot and weigh 227. Good. Good. Video Wizard, your Chrono Cross character will be 5'2 and weigh 303 pounds. Hmm. Doom, 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 doom. Wow. Does it save that info or just randomize? I don't know. I didn't make it. <laughs> I have no idea. You say that you're really guy, even though you're in a different body. 
I don't know what happened, but you need to get back to your true self. I, I cannot believe it, man. Is it possible that such a thing could occur? Bork to your Chrono Cross character would be five foot and weigh 362 pounds. That's a big boy right there. You chonky. Heckin' chonker. There you go. It's impressive. That takes work to do that. Do-do. Hey, even you should not get up so soon, man. Are you, are you all right? Even though you're a trained fighter, you should refrain from pushing yourself too hard. I'll be fine, but I almost bit the big one this time. Looks like I'm in need of more training. Oh, that hurts. Okay. I like her pigtails. It's proof that you're really guy when you regain yourself. I'll lend you this brooch. Sapphire brooch. Orla, is that your sister? Uh, it's all right for now. Listen, guy, promise me this. When you successfully regain your true self, come visit me. I'll gladly aid you then. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to get her on our team. Damn. Damn. Ooh, we have nice and relaxing music now. Relaxing music. Her accent? I just, dude, I don't know. I got to mix it up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I've decided, Chad. Saturn games cost $8 million, right? We've kind of discussed this before. They cost like $8 million. So I'm just going to get the Japanese copies. And then patch them. Back them up, patch them. Burn them. Right? Right? Like, you just, just, I want to play the English versions, but I don't have several thousand dollars for a few Saturn games. <laughs> like, come on. Uh, I've caused much trouble for you dudes with this incident. It's embarrassing as a doctor. I assume you're going to continue your journey. Try not to take too many risks. One can only live as strongly because life is limited, man. I have a book. He doesn't want my book. All right. Do you heal? No, okay. Boop, 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 doo, doo, doo. Really becoming aware how much these games were made to be played on a CRC TV. Doesn't look as good. I think it looks better, Juset, personally. But it's a subjective thing. I think it's subjective. What's up, Red Bank? How are you? We need a time machine for me to pick up Saturn games? Tell me about it. You played Final Fantasy XIV for the first time this week. Choosing voices you thought fit, only to be completely wrong when you finally... It had... You finally had a voice cut... Oh. Feels bad. Did I... Give her gear? I did. Okay. Right, I was going to look at Orla. That's what it was. But Orla won't join us yet. Yeah, I don't think anything about what Juset said was wrong. Because I feel like this kind of thing at this point is subjective. Rag, does this bug occur here in this version of the world too? The smithing bug? Can we move the Saturn section of the far right so you can add Japanese titles next to it? If there are English versions of them, yeah. Only if there's English versions of them. Because um, I don't want to stream Japanese-only games. For the most part. Because I I don't think it makes a very lurk-friendly atmosphere when I, me, myself, and the viewers don't understand what's being said or seen. If that makes sense. But if it's for your own visual reference, like you can connect like A to B so that when you look at the list, you won't find English versions. Right. No, I know you won't. I understand. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just going to get the Japanese versions because they're cheaper, back them up, and then patch them and burn the copies because my Saturn will play backups. Doom, 
A lot of Japanese titles are a totally different title. Yeah, if it makes it easier for you, yeah, I can do that. I can't do it right now, but yeah, no problem. Just uh, send me a DM to remind me so I can do it after stream. Save prior coming in. Okay, so just don't talk to the smith then. I will not talk to the smith. The Great Oasis could be the amazing crevice. Gotcha. Is that Sequisha? <laughs> uh. Uh, that guy's funny. Hi, Stina. How you doing? You want to come with? No. She won't. She actually joins you, like, super late game when it's basically too late. I remember that. Yo, I got this granny. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Here. I have this tear. How can this be? This is without a piece of the dragon, dear. I shall bestow upon you the dragon emblem. It is the symbol of a dragon shaman. Dragon emblem. The emblem and the dragon tear have been handed down by dragon shamans for generations. Although the worlds are different, you should be able to receive aid from the other shaman with this emblem. Make haste to the alternate world. Okay, let's do it. Boop, boop, boop. Yo, Crimson, enjoy your lurk. I will become the wind. Game devs knew how CRT TVs distorted things and designed this with in mind for most of the titles back then. I know. I still think it's subjective. <laughs> I'm not trying to convince you that you should appreciate the way I like it better. So I would ask you don't do that to me either. Games are art, and art is subjective. Do, 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 do. Really doubt you'll find Snatcher, but you can hold your breath. Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. But that's, um... What system? That's Sega CD, though. Not Saturn, right? I think. Enjoy your work, fans. What a mood. All the music in this game. Oh, so good. All right, let's go back to the other world. I wonder how far I have to advance in the game to get all my teammates back. Because I still don't know to who to use in that third slot. Never released in English. Oh, I gotcha. Approximately as far as it takes, smile. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Rag. All right, so we will save before entering that town. You think this game could have been better as a not chrono? Yeah, I've heard that argument before. I think there's some some validity to it. I think it's the part of it is, um, there is no comparison to Chrono Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just don't compare to that game. Because nothing does. So, just by the whole... You know, like... The sophomore effort, the typical sophomore effort here. People are automatically going to be like, This has to be as good or better. And it's just not possible, for the most part.
Your real party members were the party members we met along the way. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Yeah, you're right. You're right. This is why Red gets banned, Neo. I know. <laughs> Honestly, I think this game is supremely underrated. Because of that comparison to Chrono Trigger. Do, 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 do. If we show him that emblem, we might be able to gain his trust. Okay, show him the emblem. It's a sequel to two games at the same time. Yeah. So Chrono Trigger came out, right? Japan, North America, eventually Europe, elsewhere. <laughs> Then in Japan, Radical Dreamers came out, which was like a visual novel, which to me was an interesting choice. I don't know why they did that. There was probably a good reason for it, but to me, it's really weird. They would go from Chrono Trigger to visual novel. Um, and then this game came out, Chrono Cross. And Radical Dreamers ties all of this together, but it's supposedly it's not very good. <laughs> It keeps translating Chrono Trigger to Coronavirus Tracker. <laughs> Is that the closed captions there? <clears throat> you give this game mad props for doing its own thing instead of just being more Chrono Trigger. Right. Welcome travelers across the dimensions. Bring them before me. Yes, if it is your wish, Miss Tina. You have permission from the chief. You may pass. You're damn right. Do, do, do. How you doing? Stina number two. Hello? Let me make this clear, guy. Seek the eldest beings and El Nido, the dragon gods. During your travels, you have seen the dragon gods with your own eyes. I can sense that. I shall lend the Dragonian artifact, Dragon Tear, to the one chosen by the dragon gods. Okay. She said the same thing. Uh, okay. No, I didn't want to talk three times. There. Dragon emblem. No. Tear of hate. No. Okay. All she did was tell us to find dragons. That's it. Sapphire brooch. Wait, what the hell was that again? We never figured that out, did we? Brooch that has a blue stone which appears to have been broken in two, set inside of it. Imagine finding dragons. No! <laughs> you stop that. Why do I have the master sword? That's really weird. Apparently we're playing Zelda. Okay, this confuses me. Who gave this to me? Was this Miki? I think she did. So wait, what if I talk to the other Miki and give it to her? Orla gave that to me. Oh. Well then, what the heck does that do? A one and a two. I guess we could maybe try to find the other Orla. You bring that back to her when you get Guy's body back. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, let's go. Now, apparently, our quest is find dragons. Just... I, I hope you all understand how intimidating that is to me. I don't exactly grind. So the fact the game's like, yeah, just go fight some dragons. Like, wait, what? 
to come again. <laughs> Excuse me? Are these words that you are stating right now? It's a dragon quest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're on a dragon quest now. Why does she have 33 strength but does such bad damage? I'm so confused by that. She has some of the highest strength in the team. She has the highest strength on the team. <laughs> Literally. The actual highest strength on the team. She does 33 damage. Or... She does low damage. I've not seen her do high damage. Does she have a cruddy weapon? No, she's got Mithril. We could get her stone. Maybe because she's not... Fair. Fair. <laughs> uh, can't argue with Flare Cat, chat. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Maybe because she's nine. <laughs> Stone Glove. Let's go get one. That would explain why Miki seemed to be doing better damage, right? She wants to see her son. She wants to see her son. Her son's Korcha, right? Wait, what if I do that? Hold on. Karsh, sorry, sorry, Karsh, yeah. And it was a K. Does Lisa sell revives? We need more of those. <clears throat> Revive is incredibly useful as an element. She's got heal alls. Those are nice. Cure plus. That's all right. No revives. Shit. I thought there was an element seller that had revives. Loki, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for that raid too tonight. I appreciate that. Thanks for thinking of me in this community. <laughs> Janice? I don't know who that is. Careful with those leading questions. All right, uh, stone glove, right? Granite glove. Uh, Zoa, Marcy. A lot of people use this. Make it. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh, I already did that. Okay. Janice was the girl at the Monster Battle Arena. I vaguely recall that. Oh, right. Yeah, you had to, like, beat all the monster fights? Yeah, I tried it once. I got bored and left. It looked like it was super grindy, so I just was like, nope, I don't care. This ain't a 100% run. I don't do those. There are going to be characters I don't get, and I don't care. <laughs> grab, uh, grab. Where have you? Uh, unfortunately, I ain't your son. How should I say this? Anyway, your son, Grump, is no longer of this world. Only that's for sure. 
Grand Prix, you say it, lad. You know, in front of my own eyes. I did not care how you can now be, be my own son. Ba -na -na. Ah, now you're explaining. That's right, I'm Grump. A lot of things happen, but I'm back. Are the dragoons all well? I don't know if they're well or not, but they're alive. Good, that's a big relief. Are you gonna have time to stay for a while? Sorry, Mom. We've got no time to rest right now. But I'll be back sometime, so... All right? You must be working for the better good. But just remember, you're no good to anyone dead. Yeah, I got it. You be careful, Pops. Interesting. So, it was... Flavor text. There's a lot of that in this game. Tons of it. Grump is aptly named? Yeah. I basically have all the characters I wanted in this game at this point, I think. Other than Harl. But I can't get Harl. Like, actually cannot get Harl, because she's not a permanent party member. So, we have to decide who the third slot's going to be. It's going to be these two and question marks, right? That's where we're at right now. Those two and question marks. Although her name is Ya Bum at this point. 57 attack. This better work. <laughs> Cause she's got more than freaking links now. Woo! That's crazy. Yeah, I just don't know. Cause if she's my dedicated caster. We need somebody that's more well-rounded. And she's, honestly, her stats line up. Thank, Marcy, thank. Her, sna her stats line up. Her as a dedicated caster role is broken. Like, her magic stat is nuts. Her heals and her magic spells are insane. But uh, I want to use someone else. I'd say the mermaid, but despite her high strength, relatively high strength, I should say, her attacks have not been very good. So maybe just business is as plan as uh as planned for now. Let's go find some dragons. What are we thinking as far as dragons? We have water, we have sky, we have earth, we have fire, I believe. I think there's a fire dragon. Um what else? I don't remember. Also, I don't think I ever went to Pyre Shore in Homeworld. Fargo can steal. That's true. And steel was pretty useful for us for a while. I have you know I hit Hell Orchard for 189 damage. Ice breath. Let's go. Wait, is there treasure? All right, question. Important question. When I first went here, was it another world or home world? Because I don't remember now. I don't even remember. The first time we went through here and then ended up in Fort Dragonia. I can't recall if it was here, home world or another world. Although these monsters are looking mighty unfamiliar, so <laughs> I don't think it was here. Ooh, they do not look familiar at all. You went with main character Chuck and Jack. Okay, Norris and Fargo, gotcha. I was here in another world, okay. Is that an NPC? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you. Hot Diggity. That's an amazing name. Okay, she's messing them up. Weapon upgrades are significant in this game, aren't they? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> How about that? Why are we so damaged? Because we're standing in lava. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's heal. We're standing in lava. I should probably not run through lava. Pro tip. Ah, dang. Well, she's messing them up. You walked into many fights accidentally at one hit points. That's when you run away. <laughs> Ice breath. There we go. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that made sense. Oh, jeez. How about a heal? Room respawn. Yeah, that's what that was, wasn't it? She's proving to be a pretty significant healer. Okay. Surge, Karsh, Riddle. Riddle is just busted. She fits in any team, so does Lena. I think my like first time I played this game, I ended up with a just absolutely incredibly powerful team. Uh, it was Surge, Lena, and Glenn. If you have Surge, Lena, and Glenn, you're gonna walk through this game. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna freaking steamroll it. Glenn is OP, so is Riddle, so is Lena. Yeah, they're all OP. Woo! Let's go this way, I guess. Da -da. Do you have to use surge links? Yeah, I think so. Treasures aren't here. All right. There's a good reason he's using the speed run. Makes sense. The fact that he has a double tech with surge, like they do the X strike, like Chrono and Frog used to do, Man, <laughs> that works on everything. Yo, we just got more Denodorite. That's great. Mithril, eh, we're kind of whatever about that at this point. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way, but I am. That dog, oh, Poshul. A lot of hit points Poshul had. Good attacks, everything else was terrible. I never did figure out how to get down there, did I? Look at all those treasures down there. Hmm. Damn. There's not a, yeah, the, the dual and triple text in this game are very limited. There should be more, but it feels bad. Sh 
spring foam. Very good. Boom, 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 boom. We haven't seen her second ability. I know it's fire, but I still want to see it. Dun, dun. Sexy wink. All right, we're gonna sexy wink the werewolf. Sure. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. The sexiest of winks. Du -du -du. Marius, how are you? Gnaw bones? Well, that's probably gonna hurt. Yeah. Yeah, she's got two hit points. That hurt a little bit. Jesus. Oh, that sucks. Her magic is bad. It's still one, though. Bum ba da. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go in here. Probably leaves to Fort Dragonia. Yep. Yo, happy duty. How you been, man? This place always had really cool music. Dan it, dan it, dan it. Good and well. What you been up to this uh, Friday? <laughs> Wait, you have to redo this whole dungeon? Is there a reason for redoing this whole dungeon? <laughs> huh. I only did this in home world, right? Or another world? I did this in a world. This is the one I didn't do it in. Hmm. Is this optional? Is this story related? Hmm. I don't know. Nothing's explicitly led me here. You have a confession to make? All right. Why do I need that sweeps exactly? Like I've heard it before. Wouldn't be the first time. But I'm curious why that needs to be in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in your viewpoint there. <laughs> there seems to be no enemies so far. You've never played this game? Oh, that's your confession? Man, I was waiting for a bombshell, I gotta tell you. Tailhead Bunny. Okay. So, Miki. Tammy is tail. Body is. Whatever her name is. Alright, that swaps us. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Is this seven? No, it's Chrono Gross. <laughs> Chrono Gross. 
Chrono Cross PS1 sequel to Chrono Trigger. Maybe you've heard of it. Oh, it's hard to see here. I don't think it really accomplished anything. Why are we here? I think we might leave. I'm not seeing any point to being here. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. There's n no tying story element that has me here, so. Let's check out the Dragon Isles first. Do, 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 do. So have you played this, Marius? Because you seemed a little um, uncertain about what, uh, what I was playing. What is our purpose? Our function in life. Function in life is apparently kazoo songs. You know, we set the bar low, but it means we're always going to accomplish goals. So there you go. I could just walk through here now. Oh, that's freaking clutch. Okay. That means if I want to come back, I don't have to go through that cave again. Rock on. Do, 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 do. This guy, Dragon Isle. Thought it was Final Fantasy. Well, there are 15 Final Fantasies, and then at least that many spin offs. So, what you're saying is you've never played any of 30 plus games with the name Final Fantasy, which, you know, whatever. What in the fuck, Zapara? <laughs> Chrono Kids Yield Patty's Gate Series. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damn it. What the hell? That was your confession. I, I'm still not understanding why that's such a bad thing. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I, I don't accept your confession. Because usually people only confess to bad things. Do 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 Alright, Sky Dragon Isle, right? Hello. Tammy received our favorite Martian frame. Oh. Am I using actual PS1 memory cards? Yes. Yes. Dragon Emblem did nothing. Tear of Hate, nothing. Okay. I think going here was a mistake. Yeah, I have two um, PS1 memory cards. Never seen any of the Godfather movies. One and two I've seen. I haven't seen three. They were pretty good. But I hadn't seen them until like 10 years ago or something. Somewhere in there. <laughs> Marius, have you not played Final Fantasy games because you don't want to play them? I mean, maybe you just don't like JRPGs. You know, we talk about this often. Games are art. There's no right or wrong answer to a subjective thing as art. Do they get a race? Do PS1 get a memory card? Is it a race with time? Uh, I don't know. Mine never have. I would assume yes, but I don't know. Hmm. 
Maybe it's here. Get on the lily pad. Yeah. Pagan red cats, right? If you never played them, that means you can experience them all blind for the first time if that's something you want to actually do. Which... I tell you, people like that kind of thing. Peaceful ambience until the fly comes in. Yeah. The fly is a mood killer. <laughs> boo boo ba doo ba doo boo boo. So many fairies died. Like, I ruined this so bad. I ruined this whole scenario, like, so, so miserably bad. Almost every fairy here died. Including Bob's, like, sister or whatever. I think it was. Oh, these weren't here before, were they? Okay, that's the wrong way. You wanted to buy Final Fantasy recently on the Switch. Which one? Right? Which one were you looking at getting? There's a lot of Final Fantasy games. A lot, a lot, a lot. Like I said, 30, 40 of them. <laughs> There's a whole bunch. There's like the main series that a lot of people focus on. 1 through 15. 11 and 14 being exceptions usually because they're MMOs. Switch to 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. 10. If it's your first ever Final Fantasy, 10. If you want a more retro Final Fantasy, you want 4 or 6. And then you branch from there. First ever Final Fantasy, if you want more modern looking Final Fantasy, 10. Hands down. One of the best narratives in any Final Fantasies. If you want the more retro aesthetic and experience, 6 is my number one choice. But play 6 on like original hardware or a Super Nintendo Classic or uh, an emulator, you know? Yeah, first timer, I usually tell people 10. It's pretty linear, but a lot of people don't complain or even recognize that it's linear because the story is so well narrated. <sighs> Mystic Quest is good, but I would never, ever, ever tell anyone to start their first ever Final Fantasy with that game. Ever. <laughs> Mystic Quest is really good, but that's not the first Final Fantasy you should ever play. Because it's not very representative of the series whatsoever. It's not like any of the others. Oh yeah, the music in Mystic Quest is amazing. Wow, there are some big enemies here. That was Squaresoft's intention, kind of, but they failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they intended it to be so. It's a terrible game for a first Final Fantasy, because it's not like a Final Fantasy game. But yeah, Marius, if you want a more modern-esque Final Fantasy, 10. Retro, 6. Best way to start. In my opinion. Intention does not equal result. Exactly, yeah. That's what we're saying. Nice crit. Nine is really good, but I would not say that's the one you should start with if you've never played a Final Fantasy. Because Nine is an homage to all the previous Final Fantasies that came before it. 
And a lot of that emotion and feel to it will be missed if it's your first one. All right, Snake is turning out to be pretty good. <laughs> good, good, good. Let's try Magma Bomb plus four. Let's see how it does. It's still a shitty spell. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's not do that again. Uh... Oh, this Tammy. Uh, I think it said she was 18 or 19, but we'll look. I don't really know. Good damage. You're four eight and weigh two hundred and sixty one pounds. Oh my god, Reg. <laughs> Why? Uh. Dun, dun, dun. Putting the game into the mix before or six would be good choices for first retro. Listen, Vixie. I like almost every Final Fantasy I've ever played. I've liked every main series I've played. And most spin-offs. Nine is amazing, but I'm not gonna tell someone to make that their first Final Fantasy. You never played Assassin's Creed? Neither have I. Yeah, I've never played it. I was gonna check something. Do I love 15? No, I liked it, but it was my least favorite of every Final Fantasy I've played. Here's a little more, um, you might not know her, Marius, but she's a good friend of mine. Her name is Ashwin. Her first Final Fantasy ever, she recently played on stream and beat um, in the last month or two. It was Final Fantasy X, and it's like, she, now she wants to play more. <laughs> like, she eventually wants to play more. Like, it just, it's, I think it's the best gateway to the franchise. You know what I'm saying? You think Final Fantasy IX is great for first timers, Alex? Fair enough. I think it's a good, really good game. It's like my top three. Like I like six or seven the best, and then probably nine or twelve. Like that dances, you know, bounces around. Like those are my top four right there. But I feel like some of the Final Fantasies are more technically inclined than others, like nine. I was gonna check Tammy's profile, thank you. That was it, that was exactly it. Uh, she is 19. Like nine is way more technically inclined than 10, for example. 10, you basically follow a sphere grid. You can basically let the game handhold you and you could branch out if you want. Um, and you just let the story carry you through as you fight bosses and you, you know, do puzzles and hidden treasures and whatever. What's her real name? Miki, M-I-K-I, Miki. If someone tactics is their first FF, oh, that would be rough. <laughs> oh my God. Whew. I love tactics, but damn. <laughs> That's like throwing them to the wolves when they're naked and they don't even know where they are. <laughs> That game is brutal. Ooh. Yeah, they did a great job with the character models in this game. Like, look at this visually compared to Final Fantasy VII, the detail of the character models. Visually compared to eight, Final Fantasy VIII or nine. Tactics is wonderful, but as a first Final Fantasy game, can you imagine? 
Oh. <laughs> it's like it's like just grabbing someone by the ankles and the wrists, throwing them into a pack of wolves armed with a stick, and you're just like, good luck, kid. <laughs> like, jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're in trouble. That game is ruthless. You found Final Fantasy X on Switch, but 80 bucks. Just buy it digitally, and isn't it on the store? The digital store? Or you, do you want physical only? <sighs> but yeah, my top, like, the thing is, like, I have a top four Final Fantasies. Tied for first, effectively, is six and seven. Tied for third, second, whatever. Tied for third, nine and 12. That's where they rank for me. This game is 2000? I believe so. Let me check. Yes. Yeah, 2000. Let's see if you can get it there. And once I look at the reflection, there. It's there. You can barely see it, but it's there. It's focused. Bottom left there. 2000. Copyright 2000 square. The digital copies, 80? Oh, you must not be in North America then. Because that's not normal. It shouldn't be that much. It's really weird. Trashy Tiara. Yeah, 80 bucks is a lot. It's it, it can't be North America to be that much. It's got to be somewhere else. Oh, Australian. Yeah, well, okay, that's normal then. Everything's way more expensive in Australia. Dinner. Games in Australia are super expensive. Yeah. Um, what about Marius Steam or PS4? Did you look on those storefronts? Is it the same price? Because I think Final Fantasy X is on those as well. All right, I think I should just avoid these enemies. They don't seem to have any purpose, except being very big. They big, with double E's. Oh, I wasn't breaking it up into console rig. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, why is it 80, but then, yeah. Yeah, I know, I got friends in Australia. They, they have the same struggle. Yeah, that's it. So Marius, it's actually two games, and they're both HD remastered. You're getting Final Fantasy X, and you're getting Final Fantasy X 2, the sequel, the direct sequel to it, which is questionably good. Really fun gameplay, but the story is really bad in the sequel. But Final Fantasy X, just explicitly X is what we're talking about, is excellent in pretty much every way. So for 80 Australian dollars, you're getting two games. I don't know if that changes your mind or helps you better understand what you're looking at. Hopefully. <laughs> uh. Oh man, that was good. All right. It helps, that's good. You think it's pretty good aside from the laugh? The laugh was unintentional. There's a lot of people that don't get that. Titus was 
Have you never had a friend that you hung out with and you deliberately acted like a moron with just to be stupid and laugh? That's exactly what that entire scene is. They're laughing like a bunch of morons on purpose because they needed a laugh. They needed to cheer each other up. That's the entire point of that whole scene. On Steam, it's 29 US dollars. That's way cheaper than an Australian money, right? The laugh is the same in Japanese. Right, like the whole point of that scene is Yuna and Titus are feeling really bummed about their situation and Titus is like, Titus and Yuna basically cheer each other up by acting like complete idiots because of the absurdity of the situation. There's a lot of people that don't get that. And frankly, I didn't get it when I first played that game back in like 03. I didn't understand it. I thought it was cringy. It's cringy. It still is, but but I understand why it is the way it is. Like they're depressed about the whole situation with what's happening in the world and they just need to cheer each other up. So they act like a bunch of morons together because it'll give them a laugh. <laughs> Man, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's half of what streaming is, to be quite honest. It's just sharing a dumb laugh together. Alright, let's build up some element here. Or just kill it. That works. Laugh is intentional, makes sense in context, and plays the same in every language. Right. You wish they would do more stuff with the Chrono games? I agree, Happy Duty. Yeah. Hi, Mog. You want treats, little buddy? Hey, let's let's do some cat treats, folks. Let's break it up. Oh, we found the water dragon. Look at that. Look at that. Guy, the water dragon is just beyond here. All right, cool. But the Mog is right here. <gasps> hey, little brunner. We all do cringy things to impress the people we crush on. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah, this game was really technically impressive, Alex, for the PS1, wasn't it? It really was. Thank you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you do. But thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Camera over here. Hey, little bunny. You want some treats? You guys want to do cat treats? Square cr trademark chrono break in 2003. Yeah, they did. But I think the people responsible for the franchise aren't there anymore. You want this? Look, he immediately comes over. Yeah? You want treats? Okay. What's up, Amos? How are you? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> he dropped it. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. You want more? Here. Yeah, good kitty. Lundea de Brune, you are now the recipient of a month subscription to the Finny Bear community. You get all these great Finny Bear emotes and the ad free experience. I hope you enjoy them, sir. And I'm glad that you are here. Nom, 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 nom. All right, Moggy, that's all you get, little dude. No more. Okay. We'll get it soon, Alex. I hope you're right. <laughs> dude, do you know how crazy the RPG nerds would go if they announced a Chrono Break game? Like, almost, well, more than 20 years later. <laughs> 
Because this game's 21 years old. All right, Mog, that's it. That's all you get. Now he's like, okay, I'm out. See? He pieces out now. All right, little dude. There goes that tail. Off of there. <laughs> he was sitting on the numpad. That's where all my soundboard shit is. <laughs> Mog, what did you do? <laughs> uh, you gonna lick? Oh, nice boy. Okay. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. Good kitty. Yeah. Oh. Not again! Wanna play fine, but don't flop on the keyboard. <sighs> now he's in a bad spot. Oh man. He almost like sent text messages and oh Jesus. Come here. Come here, you. Here. You didn't like that. Please don't. Lay on the mixer. Oh, geez. So he's licking me. Okay. This is fine. You can lick. <laughs> yeah, Marius. There you go. Uh... This is bitey and licky time. See? There. Let's see if we can get a better view. Oops, I dropped the camera. That's right, we're looking at you. <laughs> Yo, thank you. Thanks for 51 bits. Yeah, this is Mog taking over the stream. That's right. He's hitting the mouse with his tail, like the keyboard, just... <sighs> yes, ow. Oh, it's bite time now. Nom, nom, nom. Lick, 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 lick. <laughs> he's such a fucking goof. <laughs> uh, he's such a goddamn weirdo. <laughs> I'm gonna play with your. I'm gonna play with your beans. I'm play with your toe beans. Rub, 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 rub. Rub that tummy. Oh, there you go. That gets him going. Yeah, let's see. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Will you get your butt off my keyboard? Look at this. Get your butt off my keyboard. No, stop hitting the subboard. <laughs> is he biting less hard? No. But is his, uh, his, his uh, claws have been uh, trimmed. Make it stop. <laughs> you, why are you so weird? Wow. Wow. <laughs> He's gotta stand sideways, see? This is a cat thing. You gotta stand sideways. Wow. <laughs> no. No. You stop biting. No. Yo. 
See? You're being a nice boy now. He is loving. He just doesn't know that Biney is bad. He thinks it's being good and friendly. See? We're just hanging out right now. And you don't care. What the fuck is on my finger? You see that black mark? What is that? Let me smash. It's some kind of oil. I wonder where that came from. Not sure. That's weird. I don't think it's dried blood, no. It's too dark and too soon. Poop? God, I, no, I smelled it. It's not. No, it's not. It's like some kind of oil. It's got an oily consistency to it. You. This is your show now. You better entertain. No, oh, you want beans? There you go. There's toe beans. You got beans. Little beans right there. This is desk now, Bismuth. If it was poop, I'd probably be dry heaving, Chad. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have a scent. It's some kind of oil. I don't know what it came from, though. Becky? Oh, it's like a dumb mascot thing. No, no bitey. Be nice. You be nice, boy. I got some right there, too. See, look. See, he's being a nice boy. Good kitty. He's being a nice boy. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. What do you want? What? What? Now what? Oh, okay. This is his arm now, Chad. Nom, nom. Lick, lick, lick. See? He doesn't get it. He doesn't know. He's being too rough. If he was trying to be mean, he would never lick. Ever. He would just sink his teeth and claws in. He's moving the ball. <laughs> Damn it, kitty. Uh, we're trying to play games here. I guess this is a game of it in and of itself, right? Yes. Can you stop giving me extra holes, please? Oh, damn it. You didn't like that, did you? Well, you brought this on yourself, young man. No. Lick, 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 lick. No, you will not be biting my electronics. That's how you go on the floor. <laughs> no, stop it! <laughs> will you stop hitting that? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you. You were being such a pain in the ass right now. Look at this. What is with this one foot? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> uh... Can I have my hand back? Please. You gonna lay down? You gonna chill? What are you gonna do? He's actually relaxing. He's actually relaxing. I'm okay with this. See? He's just chilling. He's not on the mixer. He's kind of in between it. So it's still awkwardly close. Now this is his natural state of tail action, Bismuth. <laughs> I think I should not touch him at this point. Otherwise he thinks it's playtime again. Jeez. It's very foreboding cat music.
No, uh, 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 no, better not, better not. It's not good to tempt fate. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I ordered that thing a couple years back. And I thought it would be like this big somewhere because it was a collectible. It's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And I get this huge box delivered to my door because it had to be imported from Japan because they're only made there. They're in like those claw machines in Japan. Um, I opened it up and that thing it took up almost the entire box. There was very, very little room left. <laughs> Yeah. Let's just say that I had to readjust where I thought I was going to put that thing when I came because of how ridiculously large it was. And boy, did chat really like that part. <laughs> do, 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 do. Here we go. Save game. The water dragon is supposedly near. Darn, I thought I could go in there. Mog's tail is still going, by the way. It's still scaring me. Kitty. Kitty! The only thing you've imported was the plastic Tomberry lamp. Oh, I want that. That's awesome. Hello, Dargan. You look like a fish frog. Honestly, you know what this thing reminds me of? The way dragons look in Breath of Fire games. Giant blue spiders from Mars, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> you love the slime, you don't like being threatened by it. Well, she has particular tastes, and we just learned to quote unquote love it. You know, you know, that's that kind of thing. The problems come. My problems are so great to the ones who seek to break the eternal trend of it. What is it thou seekest? The dragon god's blessing. Or nothing. Wait, what? Why would you say nothing? That doesn't make any sense. Lots of Breath of Fire 6. I don't know what that means. I thought there was only five. Do there's one through four. One, two on Super Nintendo, three and four on PS1. Five, which shouldn't really have ever even been called a Breath of Fire game. I think it was PS1, maybe. And then yeah. Six was a Japan-only mobile gotcha release. Oh, that doesn't count, then. That's not a Breath of Fire game. That's just somebody capitalizing on the name. Five is PS2. Okay. I haven't played that one. Thou stalled all the powers of the Slippery Dragons across the Dead Sea, as thou seekest to break the chains of fate. A son of man to challenge the goddess of fate. Fascinating. They confront my trial. Oh, he's got big teeth. I've not played Dragon Quarter. I've seen plenty of it to know that it doesn't look, feel, or sound like a Breath of Fire game. And it... I don't know. It's like they just, like, had... It feels like Capcom or somebody had this, like, game concept in mind. And somehow it got the Breath of Fire IP attached to it after the fact. Like, that's what it v looked and felt like from an outside perspective. So, I don't really get it. I don't understand why that game ever happened. Like, I'm not saying make the same game every time, but I also don't think Breath of Fire 1, 2, 3, and 4 are the same game every time. But they all feel like Breath of Fire games, right? So, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> like, it feels bad. And then 6 was like, we need money. 
Okay. Six was 100% cash cow and nothing else. Damn. Nice evasion. Oh. I got some myself. It didn't even last too long. It got delisted like it's never existed. Yeah, that's not surprising. If it was a gotcha game, that's pretty common for those, right? There you go, Lynx. Taking care of business as usual. Dragon Quarter is like the Breath of Fire version of Chrono Cross. Plays well. From what I've seen, it does not play well. It has esoteric, obfuscated game mechanics required to actually progress through the game. I don't ever consider that as something that would play well personally, but maybe some people who played it for the first time used guides or knew that beforehand, you know? <clears throat> Pay to win? I don't know. It doesn't exist anymore, it's Tanaka, so I don't know. I never played it, I wasn't interested. Looks like we could just melee this thing down. I feel like that's gonna be the play here. She doesn't have any strong red attacks. Six has some nice art, that's too bad. Dragon's Dogma, same thing. What do you mean? Same thing as what? I'm sorry, I missed some context there. Oh. Dragon Quarter has a dragon meter thing. If you reach 100, you're game over. Yeah. Like, it's it's got weird mechanics that just don't intuitively ever make any sense whatsoever. All right, let's just melee this guy. We do need some heals, though. Just a single target heal should do. There we go. Very nice. Tsunami beam. Oh, that sounds nasty. Mm-hmm. That was pretty mean. Final Fantasy XII was one of those games that was judged at the time more on what it wasn't than what it was. Gotcha. Gotcha, Square. Dragon's Dogma, same as Dragon Quarter. Dragon's Dogma, I thought, was some kind of standalone game that's still around on Steam to this day. That people all liked, actually. All right, um, we need to temporarily seals blue elements. Let's try it. Do that. Miss, he's immune. Well, that sucked. <laughs> like, feels bad. Deluge, please don't kill me. Now we need a strong AOE heal. Ooh. Ooh. He's hitting us hard. Whew. Okay. Dragon's Dogma has nothing to do with any other series. Yeah, I thought it was just some standalone game that had nothing to do with anything else. That was my understanding. Yo, all plus one. Here we go. Dragon's Dog Man is a future indie waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, that would be silliness. Man, this thing just spams AoE. This is a problem. <clears throat> Oh, 
Do we have something that will lower its... What do you call it? Lower its... Magic strength. They made night dark and more dangerous. What game are you talking about specifically? Square? I'm sorry. Oh, you're talking about Dragon's Dogma. I've never played it. I'd love to try it someday, though. It's on my next list. Oh, we have blue status elements right now. I don't know what that does. Weak-minded. Oh, that's magic defense. Oh, I need imbecile. That's the spell I'm looking for. There it is. Perfect. His AoE magic spells will do less now. I don't know what this blue element is, but I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of it on Lynx. Yes, Mog? You coming back? Okay. You can lay down, just don't lay on my stuff. You goofy cat. Flu. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I don't know what it does either. Ice breath. Uh oh, here we go. Dude just spams AoE. He's crazy. <clears throat> it looks like it might lower attack power. That's my uh, theory right now. I think it lowers attack power. Jeez, this thing spams AoE. Oh, everybody has it now. Fuck. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, I don't care if you tell me what it does. It's just a status effect. Reduces stamina recovery. Oof. That's not good. <sighs> okay, Mog. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus. This cat. So that explains why he seems like he's so fast. He's not actually fast. We're just taking forever to recover stamina. Oi. Mog, please. For God's sake, stop playing with my mixer. All right, he's just laying there. He's just laying there. Snake! Snake! She's turning out to be pretty good. This is a phase two. I'm feeling phase two right now. Wait, I want! Yes! <laughs> Get right, Blue Dragon! Whoo! Okay. My strategy to just beat stick it worked. Just beat stick it. Ooh, we got a new star. Love to get those. Two resistance on her. That's pretty awesome. No magic though. Links, three HP, two strength, one magic. That's amazing. Three HP, one strength is terrible. Blue whale. Is that another summon? I think I got another blue summon. Well done, son of man. Thy strength is worthy of my powers. Take the see my prayers. Okay. We did it. Cool. This was square at the top of its game, putting out amazing game after game like it was nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah, I was talking about that last night, Square. And probably last week, too. Is this on Vita? I don't know, Cloud. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's on PS3, like the PSN network, though. You can buy some PS1 games on the Vita or, you know, the Vita store. Yeah, Square. It's like literally what I was talking about last night. The list I went through. Um, from the beginning of 99 to the end of 2000, Square was out of control. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best way to put it. They were out of control. Um, let's see if I can find it. Cause, yeah, okay. From the beginning of 99 to the end of 2000, Squaresoft released, and this isn't everything. It's just the notable stuff. Air Geese, Final Fantasy VIII, Chocobo Racing, Saga Frontier 2, Legend of Mana, Final Fantasy Collection, Final Fantasy Anthology, Threads of Fate, Chrono Cross, Parasite Eve 2, Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy IX, and The Bouncer. <laughs> In two years. <laughs> All of that. All of that. And that wasn't every game they released in that two-year period. That was just the ones I recognized. What the fuck? I don't even know how that's possible. It used to be on Vita and I got pulled. Oh, that's a bummer, Tom Berry. You saw my title. Yeah, I, I play original releases only, so. This is, this is my copy right here. With a very badly damaged case, as you can see. PS1 being played on a PS1. Juker, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. Folks, I'm going to be on uh, Juker's stream on Tuesday. Should hang out for that. Um, it will be normally when we have our movie nights, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to be hanging out there. We're going to be doing some co-op, like beat em up stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Is the Vita story going down this month? No. Uh, PSP store is going down this month. <clears throat> uh, Vita and PS3 stores are not going down. See you later, Lorelana. God bless the ring. Oh, man. Dun -dun. Vita's still on its way to a deeper grave? No. No, PSP is the only one. Was Final Fantasy Spirits Within released in 2001? I don't know, but Final Fantasy X was. <laughs> but I didn't mention 2001. I was just trying to mention that two-year period of 99 to 2000. We're lucky to get one amazing game a year anymore. It really just depends on the kind of games you like. Like, honestly, there's a lot of amazing games every year that come out. It's just there's so many, it's harder to find them. Back then, we only had so many games we could play. That's just the basic of it. So what did we do? When we got a game, we'd play it. And it was all we had. So, good or bad, we ended up usually really liking it. And now fast forward 20 to 30 years later, and we have nostalgia about those games. So... It was just a matter of supply, <laughs> like pretty much. Like there's a lot of games that come out today, every year that are amazing. They're just much harder to find because there's so many games. We can't find time to decide what the hell we want to play. Yo, Inde, how are you, dude? It's good to see you. Those are two channels you should be following right there. The Juker and Inde folks. They're channels I like to hang out in quite frequently. Check them out. I should find those games? Nah, I'm primarily a retro streamer, Square. I'm not really interested in playing newer games for the most part. I just, I like, I, I've been streaming for over five years, and I was like pure variety for 
more than half of that. And it didn't work because it was way too unfocused. It just made me really confused about what I was doing at any given point, And it made the viewers really confused. And the result was I got w almost nobody watching. So 20 years later, I mean, if I'm streaming 20 years from now, well, first of all, that'd be a damn miracle. <laughs> Second of all, sure. Why not? Why not? Quality of the games tended to matter since if you're spending 40 to 60 of your hard-earned chore money, you better be worth it. Yeah. I feel like that's true too, Ninnies. I think we put a lot more care into which games we decided we wanted as kids or young adults. You know? Because we there were only so many to pick from and we had to get it right. What's up, Dorian? How are you? I want to talk to the, the fishy dragon again. I seek nothing. There's three dragons, apparently, according to him. Does it mean I could fight him again? I could fight him again and get some of his blue spells with traps, couldn't I? <laughs> Uh. Oh wait, we have the flu. Hold on. Do do do. Let's use some medicine. There we go. I rarely buy full price games, Cinny. I buy retro games, which sometimes are full price. That sucks, but I mean it's worth it. Do 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 do. do, do. Garden of God. Yes, Cloud. Yeah. This whole soundtrack is amazing. Saw a bunch of rabbits hopping backwards. It was a receding hairline. Oh. Thank you. You side IRL, thanks. That's the correct response. End day. You don't have bought a single full price game this year? I think I bought one. No, I bought two. But one wasn't for me. One was for my roommate. I got Cyberpunk. It was all right. <laughs> like, it was good, but I could tell it wasn't finished. Like, that game needs more time. Maybe I'll play it again in four years when it's finished. Because it ain't right now. Uh, and I got my roommate Rune Factory 4 special on the Switch. Which was worth it because she's played it for like 200 hours or something crazy like that. It's not too late to bounce on the stream. Wait, why would I be doing that? I don't understand. Oh, because of the puns? Dude, I... You, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, you gotta worry about that, man. I stream for a living. I got a thick skin. This is what I do for paycheck. Moggy, please get off my mixer. Kitty, stay off the mixer. It's nice and warm, so he loves it over there. Oh, you got Pokemon Snap, Cinny? Did you like it? It looks fun. It looks adorable. Pokemon Snap, the new one, just looks really cute. Yeah, uh, Juker is talking about... I'm going to be on his channel Tuesday. So I hope you guys and gals and non-binary pals all hang out with us over there. I'm going to do some co-op gaming over there. Bunch of just... Like, you know how retro variety nights, I just play a few random games? That's what we're going to be doing with co-op games. A lot of them, I think, are going to be arcade games, too. Which is going to be really cool. Uh, okay, so we have Sky Dragon Isle, we have Earth Dragon Isle, but we also have the dead... place... dead... stuff... land... Isle of the Damned, that's what it's called. Pretty much arcades. Sounds good, man. 
Most of the arcade games I played as a kid were probably fighting games, but I don't like competitive gaming. Like, I, I just, I'm not into it. That's why I was like, let's not do those. <laughs> let's just not. Uh, Isle of the the Dan's game. Yes. Thank you. You love Dead Place, the Dead Land, oh, Isle of the Dam too? Yeah, it's pretty wicked, isn't it? Make sure we have enough quarters. You got it. We'll have plenty, right? Right, Juker? I think that might be one of the games we're playing Square. I think it's called, uh, what was it called? Chronicles of Mistara? Might be playing that. So look look for that one. You get a thousand quarters saved, yeah. 250 bucks. <laughs> totally real quarters. Uh, yeah, Chronicles of Mistara, yeah. that's That might be one of them. What the fuck are you? Man, yes? No way. Are you Dario? You're alive. Of course you are. You're Dario. What? Are you saying you know who I am? So, like, what are you saying? No time for games? Do you know this man? Yes. Sort of. It's been four years since this man washed the shore, clinging on for dear life. Mog, I'm watching you. Must have been a thick piggy bank. I know, right? I think I've I've played one of the D&D beat-em-ups, but it was briefly. Because the person I was hanging out with wasn't feeling it. He wanted to play NFL Blitz. So I was like, all right, fine. So I got, if it was that, there's two of those D&D beat-em-ups. I played one for like 10 minutes. And he wasn't feeling it. So I was like, I don't really know which one I played or even got any idea of what it was. Tower of Doom. Yeah, it was one of those that we played. Like it was like a it was a cabinet that had both games in it. Uh it's this place a couple miles from me called the Galloping Ghost, where they just have like a couple hundred arcade cabinets. Not even kidding. This is what I'm dealing with right now. <laughs> Can you go lick your butt somewhere else, please? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you know they're doing that when the one back foot just goes straight up in the air. It's a, and it's always somehow like a 90 degree perpendicular angle to the ground. Like the one foot just straight up in the air and they just dig in. Look at this cat. Oh my god. He's he's posturing. Look at him. Look at this guy. Hi. You comfy right there? Yeah, you are, aren't you? <laughs> well, you make me move everything on my desk, you goof. You good there? He's not laying on the mixer, so I'm cool. I'm cool with it. You want to say hi? This is your camera, Mug. <laughs> No fucks to give. Look at that. The indifference is just palpable. Yeah? What do you see? There's something up there? No, I don't see nothing. No? <laughs> uh, yep. Yo, yeah, use stream markers, okay? Just say no. <laughs> I should take that down because apparently mods can't do that. That's really disappointing. You good? <laughs> you guys notice? It's hard to see. Look at his eyes. Poor guy. When he was young, he had an infection in one of his eyes. So the result is that one of them is a darker pigment than the others. So he's technically heterochromatic. I 
be his right eye. This is like an orange. And his left eye is like a green. It's kind of hard to see. All right. I'm going to let him lay down, though, because he's not being disruptive or destructive right now. So, yeah, sort of. Yeah. It's not genetic heterochromia. It's just he has two different eye colors because of that infection he had as a cat kitten. <laughs> Okay, this man has no recollection of his past whatsoever. Come on, you don't remember me? Forgive me, I just cannot remember. It's like, what can we do? Oh, yeah, maybe we'll remember if we bring Dulce here. I don't know, that seems like a bad idea. Do, 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 do. You know, the background music creates the atmosphere in your gaming room. It does, yeah. This game, even the ambient sound in this game is really good. Listen to this. very realistic. It sounds like a real recording. And there's a bug, though. So it does sound like a real recording. Freaking mosquito or gnat floating around. <laughs> yep, it <that> sounds real. <laughs> Secret of Evermore? That was Jeremy Sewell's first soundtrack he ever did. I think it was 18 or something like that. Like just or like just out of college. I don't remember. You already covered a mosquito bites? I do not go outside, so I've been good. Did you hear mosquito? Yeah, it was part of the ambient sound there. Like that or a gnat. Pretty sure it was a mosquito, judging by the sound. I think Sky Dragon should be next. IMO. They get in your house. Oh, yuck. Yuck. It hasn't been humid enough here for that. Not yet, surprisingly. But it will be. It's the Chicago area. Eesh. The summers here are so muggy. Pretty nasty. I might have to go here in the other world. You need to stop your stream for 30 seconds during a punch out fight to be like, I'm real goddamn itchy from this mosquito bite. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, no. It's not here. Okay. Let's go to the other world. I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end. Um. We've got more dragons. The Sea of Eden is going to be a thing eventually. Um, I think there's a return to the Dead Sea. I don't remember all the details. We'll figure that out. That's story stuff, right? You're allergic to them? Ooh. Is this my first playthrough? Second. But I haven't played this in 18 years, Cloud. So, it's been a hot minute. <clears throat> it's been a real hot minute. Remember a humidity reader in the basement said 85%. Yeah, that's pretty normal, honestly. I remember I was working the uh, fan convention for the Blackhawks. Was it the Blackhawks? Yeah, it was right after they won the Stanley Cup in like 2015, it was that summer. <clears throat> and it was really hot in Chicago for a few days, like a hundred degrees ambient. But the humidity was also a hundred percent. So I remember it was like really long shifts. I was working, it was, I think it was at like the Hilton or something like that. 
I don't remember the name. I think it was the Hilton. It was a hotel downtown Chicago. And, you know, like, reporting time was 7 a.m. And it was, like, 2, 3 p.m. Finally, like, go get lunch. I was like, oh, yes, finally. Okay. So I went. Stepped outside. Five seconds, I turned around, went back inside. I'm like, you know what? I'll eat. I'll eat when I get home. It felt like I walked into a sauna. Because it was, like, 104 ambient and 100% of humidity. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to eat that bad. Because I would have had to walk, you know, to a nearby place a block or two away. In that heat, I was not going to do it. There was no way. It literally felt like walking into a sauna. <laughs> it was insane. Save. We're gonna try Sky Dragon on this world. If you feel lucky living in the UK, it's rare for it to be humid like it is in the US. Doesn't it get humid in Scotland? But then it doesn't get that hot in Scotland, right? It probably doesn't get too hot. Like Chicago in the United States is like right in the middle ish next to a gigantic lake. And that lake is like one huge weather battery. So in the summer, that lake just makes the whole city really humid and gross. And in the winter, we get what's called lake effect snow. Where if you look at like weather maps, you know, you can see like weather fronts come in when it's like raining or snowing, right? It shows the clouds or whatever, the storm coming through. But when you look at those at Chicago in the winter, you have the weather fronts coming in and then you just have this cloud sitting over Lake Michigan that doesn't fucking move and just snows on everything. <laughs> it sucks. Ugh. That lake just ruins the weather. <laughs> Ugh, man. But the fact of the matter is that Chicago, before it was inhabited, was a swamp. So it kind of makes sense. Sky Dragon has come back. Hell yeah, okay. <clears throat> Dun, 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 dun. Scotland's normally pretty cold. They have a lot of fog in some parts. Oh, okay. I mean, I'd take fog over the freaking summers we get out here. Sorry, Mog. I coughed and it spooked him. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. That is indeed a dragon. Let's go say hi. Here in New York, you're in Long Island. Oh, you live in Long Island proper, huh? Okay. Living on an island sucks. <laughs> is that a Dark Souls dragon? Yeah, it's it's Dark Eater Mid Ear Square. <laughs> I am the Sky Dragon of the White Elements. First, gain the protection of the five dragons of the world. Water, earth, fire, black, and green. Ah, okay. We got water. So there's earth, green, black, and fire. Right? Those are the ones we need. So at least we know this is the last dragon. We have to find the other four first. Do, 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 do. I mean, I have a pretty good guess where the Earth Dragon is. Probably one of the Earth Dragon Isles. So aptly named. UK basically it's a month or two of sun a year, but it's nothing compared to what you get over there. Fair. Sounds like UK has a climate I would actually really like. dragon let's try it last time we went here it was a problem the enemies were very strong but we'll try it out do 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 dragons oh man you would have liked the DD &D campaign i ran <laughs> i ran a DD &D campaign on this channel every saturday for like a year and a half 
I think it was like 77 sessions. This is one of the better tracks that I like. Some of your men are down there now. Let's head in. Isn't there a YouTube command for uh, the D and D? Uh, probably not, because I stopped uploading them to YouTube in like f episode forty or something, because nobody was watching them. They were getting like maybe five views. And then I did analytics research on them and 40 some episodes of D and D on my YouTube channel resulted in two Twitch views. So obviously I was wasting my time. So I stopped uploading them. <clears throat> the guy who did art for this game, the backgrounds is the big boss at monolith soft. Oh, cool. You're rude by nature. Well, that guy is rude. Jeez. Yeah, those enemies there were the problem. I can't run back up there. Yeah, there's no central place to watch all the D&D sessions. Some of them are on YouTube, and then the remaining are in a Twitch collection. This cat looks so relaxed right now. It's very nice. It's good to see. I'm getting that comfortable here. Yo, let's talk to this guy. There's no point exploring any further. You find a big opening, but there are monsters everywhere. So that's the point. You just gave me the point, dude. Like, God. Do you even know what exploration is? Okay, let's go. I think this is where I got the Denodorite. This is very mystical sounding music. I like it. Keep people in mind when you sell people on that. Cool. There was treasure right here and then I left because the enemies were kicking my ass. Yeah, this whole soundtrack is amazing. True to form, like Chrono Trigger, the soundtrack in this game just sends you to another world. Legend of Dragoon has that kind of soundtrack. I don't remember any of it, but I only played it up to like this too, personally. I have it. I own it, and I would like to try it again someday to see what it's like. But I played it when it came out, which was like, what, 97 or 8? Something like that, right? Somewhere around there. You know what this area reminds me of? That desert in Chrono Trigger? What the hell is that thing? Um, <laughs> where you fight that, like, skeleton boss? And then when you kill him, Robo restores the desert and turns it into a forest. That's what that thing, that's what this area reminds me of. That sand boil is not functioning. Okay. Shit. What's another Eden cloud? I never heard of that. You get up to this four shots. All right, so this is way to green. This is where Bob the Fairy was awesome. Yeah, that one, Visceral, yeah. Underground Desert in 600 AD, yep. Forest side quest, yep. This area reminds me of that area, that spot. I 
obviously it's not the same because we're on a different continent entirely. You can see it being intentional, a little throwback, yeah. I think we're a little better equipped for this place now. I need to re reassign this magma bomb. That was a bad idea. Was that 79 or 179? Oh my God, Mog. <laughs> He's posing. Look, the cat is posturing. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Hey. Does that mean you want pets? Yeah. Okay. As soon as you get rambunctious, though, I'm going to stop. Look at this little guy. Is that good? Yeah? Yeah, it's the spot. You like those chin scritchies, don't you? <laughs> Yo, when a cat rolls on their back and does that like paw curl thing, that means pet me. That's almost always what it means. When their head's like upside down, you gotta pet them. That's the rules. That's cat rules. You want down there? Okay. Okay. I'll get right there. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> oh, you want that side now? Okay. You go for the belly. He's pretty resistant to belly rubs, so. My pre Purball liked that, and Lickety likes that. He does not like it, so. Yeah. I have multiple pets. I have two cats. Do you have any green spell? There we go. Arrow Blaster plus two. Get him. One eighty nine. Pretty good. She's pretty good too. Dizzy character evasion down. Ah, okay. Dun, 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 dun. It's pretty hot in here, Mog. Oh, I got more Denodorite. Hell yes. That's more stone equipment. All right, we got to figure out how to get up there. On this ledge right here. It's not functioning, though. Okay. Then. Huh? Do we need to figure out how to get up there? We do, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go this way. It's a dead end. That didn't work. Well, we may have to go here in the other world. Let's visit here in the other world. That's my only... Only estimate. Varga Wasperine. That's a neat name. I like that name. Hello, thank you for the raid. How'd you find us? How did you find us? And welcome. I hope your stream was good. What were you playing? General Retro Search. Rock on. Right on. It's my favorite category on the platform. 
I try to put everything on there. Just... There's like this really cool community feel to the whole retro category. Met a lot of awesome people. There's plenty of them in here right now, actually. Other streamers. <clears throat> it's always good to see. It's always good to see fellow retro streamers and fellow streamers hanging out. But it's always good to see everybody hanging out, of course. Wrapping up Jet Force Gemini. All oh, wild. One of my mods has been playing that, too. Um... Background guy 02, he's been playing that. I think he played it. Was it Monday? Tuesday? I think he played it on Tuesday. You love that game when you were a kid? Yo, Cloud, thanks for the 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 song shout outs. Do 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 Jeff First Gemini is really cool. I've never beat it because it got too hard. Yeah, I've never played it, honestly. <clears throat> I've never played it. But yeah, thank you for thinking of me, Varga. I hope uh we had a good time over there. Uh Do you have do you have sub is that a sub emote? It is good. I can click that and then hit follow on your channel now to check your channel out. Yeah, I never played Jet Force Gemini. I wouldn't mind playing it. Wouldn't mind. I know it's not like, wow, this is one of the greatest games ever. Like, it's got its flaws because it's early 3D and it's on an N64. But it looks fun. You know? It looks fun, at least. You've only seen a Let's Play. I've only seen it streamed on Monday and Tuesday, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Check out another Eden. It's a great mobile RPG. Oh, if it's mobile? Yeah, I'm probably never going to play it then. I'm not going to lie. I play zero mobile games. I This is what I do for a living. I don't go places. I don't go out. I don't, like, work an outside job. I do this right now. <laughs> so, like, your subs, your bits, your tips, all that stuff you folks give, that's... That's that's for me. That's what I do to get by and keep the lights on and keep doing awesome stuff like this for all of you and for myself as well. Steam had a port, but it's only English audio. So what you're saying is... Wait, why are you saying only English? You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> is the English audio terrible? Raid Shadow Legends? No. I've already been offered money to stream that, and I turned them down. They Seriously, they are just ridiculously aggressive with that. I also got offered money to stream more stream raiders. Nope. <laughs> I actually, like, I, I was like, they... They mentioned they wanted to pay me to play more stream writers, right? So I was like, okay, um, tell me more about this opportunity. What kind of, you know, compensation are we talking about and obligations? And they grossly underestimated the value of me in this community, let me tell you. We'll just put it that way. I don't think that they did anything wrong. I just don't think they had the budget for it. So, so I said no. <laughs> I said, I, and I told them as such that they had vastly underestimated the value of this place. <clears throat> and as such, I would be passing on the opportunity. They were cool about it, but yeah. <laughs> Japanese audio were better in some ways. I would agree if I spoke Japanese, but I don't. So, for me, personally, it is literally never better. Unless the English audio dub is just that comically bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play that game either, Joker. I think they sent an email to literally every channel that just has a certain viewer average or higher.
Like, I... It, yeah. <laughs> There's some companies that do that. Like, they make it sound like a personal email, but you know what happens? When we as streamers get emails like that, that say, I've been following your progress and I really like your growth on, and then it says like X, you know, like whatever it is. We share that shit on social media and it turns out that they're sending the same copy paste to fucking everybody. Don't work for them. I promise you, if you're any kind of like sponsor or game developer and you do that, it's not going to work. As streamers, we see right through that bullshit attempt. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work. You know what sponsors do work? The ones where people actually try. Like they actually have an investment. Like an invested interest in you and the people that you are part of your community. Like that stuff works. All right. All right. Let's get treasures. More Denethorite, hell yeah. Yeah, those still go around a little bit, Varga. It's not as bad as it used to be. I think I need to fight this thing. It's like the same one was blocking the path. If you touch it, it won't attack. Okay. Can I spook it? Mm, probably not. No. Dear intern name, we've been watching your work for a long time. Wish to give you X amount of dollars to say great stuff. It's usually like, oh, will you use our product or will you play our game? The fact, like, actually offering compensation is rare. That almost never happens like that from those copy pastes. Things been walking back and forth. It's slow, but I'm not stupid enough to fight it. I threw a rock at it and it just clammed up. Maybe you can push it over from the cliff when it's in that form. Attack it right by the cliff. Okay. Let's try that with this one. All right, that doesn't work. The wannabe famous bots? Oh yeah, yeah, those ones. All right, I think we need to attack it right there. When it's in that position. Ah, oh, shit. I did not think it would come towards me. Well, we run away. Dun, dun, dun. Nah, nah, nah. Dun, 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 All right. Let's try this again. If it goes right there in that spot, we attack. All right, go. I think that's what that NPC told me. The researcher. Who is Toasty in here? Yellow belly and rock roach. Let's get this thing first. Spin off. Ow. That's pretty good. Ah, still not dead. No kidding. Snake! Get him, Snake! Stop missing! Alright, that works. <laughs> yep, I'm thirsty. That's why she's on our team. No shame. No shame. 
Dun, dun, dun. See how Arrow Blaster does. Very well. 150 damage. All right, we killed it. Let's see if this works. Oh, we are getting lots of Denadorite here. You can push it down. Push it. Hey, I'm not sure what that did, but we did that. That's the thing we did. Fill the sand chats. If the lighting is more, uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go, Zapara. <laughs> oh, that bot is so weird. It's the weirdest damn bot of all time. Can we get this one to jump down? No? Or how we spook it down? Hmm. This thing's not moving. Oh, well, it is now. There's two of them this time. All right. Inferno, let's go. Oh, that was really good. Okay, she's got a strong AOE. The rock sneaked up on us. <laughs> Nagi wants chin scratches. She's almost dead. That's not good. She needs to heal herself. Cat is being very nice right now. This is just mind blowing how unusual it is. He's being very nice, chat. He's rubbing my hand and licking it. This never occurs for any reason. Thanks, Mod. Yeah, if you look closely, you can see the dithering that the PS1 games used. And it was a visual technique that they used knowing that the video signal being connected to TVs was gonna be a little blurry. It's like a checkerboard pattern on almost everything. Of like off offset colors. Oh my God, it dodged both. Well, that's, that sucked. There you go, dodge that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Denado rights to make up for the fifteen bit colors. Push oh, it. Well, it was like the, the vehementus and, you know, like the whole idea was they knew that you were going to be playing this on like an RF signal or composite video. Most people that played a PS1 didn't have RGB SCART, right? Most people didn't. Or if they did, it was still being hooked up to an old TV that was going to be blurry anyway. So that checkerboard pattern would kind of blend and create 
effectively a color that the system itself couldn't output. So yeah, the whole 15-bit idea that you're talking about there. Burns decrease defense two times damage while on the field. I don't seem to have burns, though. I'm good. All right, so we just got to figure out how to move this one. Oh, I gave burns to Rock Roach. Oh, I understand. Okay. All right, I'm going to take Inferno. Remove it. Remove Magma Bomb plus four, because that's dumb. I'm putting Inferno at level seven. I'm putting Holy Light at level six. And then we can put a strong single target red here. Magma Burst plus one. There you go. It was interesting how several systems use dithering for transparency with blurry screens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other systems would use certain menu screens that would interlace, oddly enough. Like Secret of Mana, I think, did that. And I think uh, one of the Harvest Moon games did that. Okay, I don't know how to move this one. What am I missing here? Talk to the NPC. Maybe he'll have something. <clears throat> no. No, that guy doesn't have anything. Just two NPCs here, and they don't say anything useful. Probably have to go up here. Some Super Nintendo games, but it also had possibilities for smoother transparency. That's an enemy. For a second. Oh, there's an NPC right there I never talked to. It's called a rock roach. It won't attack you as long as you don't approach it. It's much harmless. But I tell you, the thing must weigh a ton. Our explosives have barely enough power to blow it away. Sure, I'll take your explosives. You can only blast the ones that are sitting there. Right. That's the secret. Bum, 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 bum. Boom, boom. Boom. Thankfully, the other two are still in their holes. So, here we go. Run. <laughs> uh, we did it. All right. <laughs> you dude just got yeeted. Uh. You know, this game soundtrack was so impressive. I remember modders using it when they were making custom modules for Neverwinter Nights. <laughs> uh. Go down the sand boil. Here we go. <laughs> you call the police. Oh, no. Oh, no. Save point, please. Yes. Oh. We found a save point, which is really nice because I'm hot and tired. And it's five in the morning. <laughs> it's that time, my friends.